Yes! Yes! Welcome, one and all! Yes! How's everyone doing today? Happy Pipe Dreamers, everyone! Session 8! My god. My god. Like, it's absolutely astounding that we've made it up to this point. But we here now. Uh, this one? Oh my god, could you imagine? Here we go! And... Ooh! My god. I almost didn't have the music prep. I almost didn't have the music prep, but here we go! Also, looks like the next ad starts in six hours, nine minutes. Nice. That's right, chat. You can go ahead and thank your pre-show tanks for tanking all those ads for you guys. So we don't have to worry about ad interruptions. So thank our pre-show tanks with that one. Bless it. Bless it all. All right, guys. Without further ado, I'm going to go and unmute and see what our uh, our wacky crew has going on today, yes? Indeed. Hello, Hello everyone. Hello. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hey, how's it going, guys? Hi. We were talking about clams. We were you talking about clams, just yeah. Just eating them Hell, out of a can. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Frozen? Like, you know. Yeah, like frozen. Like a popsicle. Like, it's mm. summer. It's kind of hot out. <laughs> it's summertime, everyone. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to lick at my clamsicle? Or... Yeah, I want to keep it yeah. all to myself. Uh, I don't like Wait, that. Wait, nobody wants nobody wants the clamsicles. I don't I don't like that. I'm pointing. Oh, but I but I prepped them for this session. <laughs> I'm Honestly, pointing respectfully and shaking my head. I don't want if that. Uh, I would yeah. try. Here's the thing, okay? Mm -hmm. Oyster on like the half shell. That's usually pretty fucking cold. That oyster. It's for, we're, all, we're almost there. We're almost there. So we're almost oyster. we're almost fucking there already. Yeah. So honestly, if oh, you yeah. pulled out a clam on a like popsicle stick and we're like, eat this, first I would go. I would look for exits like emergency yeah, yeah, exits. Yeah, yeah, like, I couldn't find any. I would. Then be you would find that I bolted all the doors. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah, I yeah, would yeah. eat one out of mostly fear, but I may enjoy it. It's one and, of those things like. And there's like egg scenario. Yeah, there's like. Still talking about clams. Yeah, and yeah, there's like still a talking about and there's like a yeah, and there's like a uh, gun pointed at you. No, I got that. Mm -hmm. I got I, that. My yes. favorite thing about doing else. this is when the fear in their eyes slowly turns to respect. <laughs> Does it ever? Because <laughs> even if I, I like the, the thing, I even think if I like the clam that you just handed me, <laughs> oh my like, god, I'm going to still be fearful because you did bolt the doors don't, don't, to give yeah, me Yeah, I don't know. I think it's just more fear, but you know, you kind of. So it's going to be fear top to it, bottom. Yeah, the whole time I, fear. I, I was going to say to it looks like respect because I think there's just like death in the eyes. You know what I mean? Where it's just like. It's almost like an acceptance, but no, it's still more fear. It's still, it's yeah. still absolutely more fear. So yeah. Um, hi. I d I, yes. Hi. Hi, Lena. How, hi. How, how are I you? I missed you. I missed you too. So much. I'm uh, never taking a break from D and D. Not that I took a break. Okay, so hold mom. on. That's some <laughs> pretty bold. Wait, wait, you know, it, that's, it, right. that's a I bold will... fucking thing to say because yeah. I have a perfect fucking D and D record. I am a goddamn like grade A, yeah. straight edge that's student. That's not what I meant. Not no, what I meant. And, and, and Lena, I'll just say, I say, okay. appreciate the sentiment, but <laughs> shut up, Shane. Okay, can I start over? <laughs> <laughs> we're, 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 we're rewinding. Yes, okay. rewinding. Okay, all right. I will right. never miss a D and D get day again because i missed Whoa. it too fucking much Aww. i i really like D, D a lot like this is as tomato said my my socializing fun Aww. time and i mean never same. again same. yeah and and though to report for the first time in my life i tried uh oysters not mm. a huge fan not a huge okay. fan well, oh, it's okay, okay because okay. most of what well, was it like fried oysters or was it like they were like fresh from in a, the sea, in a half like, shell oh, like mm, yeah, yeah. Like, see, I, I love it I fucking love those but the last time I had them I basically signed a waiver 
Ah, uh, yes, yes. Oh, no, yeah. You no. can get horrible diseases eating them. I had, uh, oh, yeah, no. Oh, Yo, yeah, oh you can absolutely. You can absolutely. Die. I, like, uh, you take that, you, you, there's like seasons what? where you're supposed to eat them, and yeah. that's when I eat them, but they will give them to you out of season, and yeah. you for sure are warned oh, by the oh, waiter if oysters, you do that. Oysters are, are risky biz. Uh, in, well, I live in Florida, so when I eat oysters, I don't get such a warning. I, they go, here you go, partner. Uh, and then, you know, this, some other Florida thing happens. And then, but it's, uh, yeah, I love raw oysters from the yeah, shell. It's so it's Ooh. worth, it's worth the risk. It's mm. worth it. But, but it is no, it's always worrying when like every time I've ordered like oyster on the half shell, the waiter's like, I do have to tell you about <laughs> your the risk. food poisoning that may be in your food. Your You're food risking food. your life. You're risking you know, your life. When the waiter pulls up a chair to your table mm. and starts talking to you about the, the hazards. <laughs> And I'm like, dude, I'm already in. No. You can't get me out of here. No, no, it's, it's absolutely true. Yeah, <laughs> raw, raw. Or you, so what? it's really more that there's a limit of raw oysters that you can yeah, consume. Lena, yeah, gotta oysters think of it as absorb like a lot of toxins from the water yeah, yeah. when they're alive. And yeah. eating them raw is meaning that you're not cooking out any of the bacteria and toxins that the oyster is taking in. So, so it, like, it's, it's not great. Like if you eat some, you. it's fine. But if you're going to mm-hmm, like... Mm-hmm eat like five, 10 pounds of oysters, like right there. Like, yeah, it's like red kidney beans. If you eat too many red kidney beans, you will shit and vomit and bleed Wait, out what? of your eyes. Yeah, Wait, if you what? actually eat what? one apple seed, you just cyanide and it will fucking kill you. <laughs> Why <laughs> eat food? Yeah, Why weird. eat food? Why do we eat food? It just sounds like eat a death sentence. Eat two bananas and you're already <laughs> dead, fucker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> You know, poppy seed bagels. Well, <laughs> you're under arrest, partner. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Looks like you're trying to consume opium, you fuck. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> wild. It's wild the blood if you eat too much limit. of any food, it kills you, though. Isn't yeah. that fucking wacky? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's... God is such a fucking kidder, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real knee slapper. <laughs> God, God's like, yo, Lena, those oysters are pretty good. Well, bad news. It'll kill you. And Lena's like, uh, I don't actually like them. We'll be back. Don't yeah, worry. We'll be back I, for you. We'll find just something. Just fried oysters hmm. and you'll be, you'll be okay. Well, you didn't, like, you didn't like, like it. Oysters. You didn't like it. I really like and it. I get like that. A I could have died on a Ritz cracker. Yeah. I could have oh, but I mean, like you could, you could almost die doing almost anything. To be yeah, fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, I, I get it. Lena. Oh, oh absolutely. Yeah. You get, it's, it's called oxygen, uh, toxicity. If you breathe too much, uh, the oxygen in your system will actually start <laughs> you to poison you. You cannot breathe more than a couple of times every 10 seconds. I don't know how you guys don't have like a fucking app um, that counts. Guys, I have an app that counts. Um, guys. Um, do you guys know that oxygen is poisonous? It's poisonous. And every time you're breathing, you're hallucinating. I read this. I read this on a Joe Rogan Reddit uh, post. It's oxygen's <laughs> extremely poisonous, dude. You want to make sure you breathe like every once in a while, but then hold it in for a little bit and then breathe it I, out. I do these really like fast ones yeah. and then I hold it all in yeah. there for like and a, they get a rush, 30 right? to 40 seconds. You get a rush yeah, it, while it's you're like my, bl- my eyes start burning. My head starts like pounding. Oh my God, it's the best. A little bit of blood comes out of my ears. It's the best. <laughs> Well, we walk in the other than ever. This, this is so fucking cursed, dude. This is so <laughs> cursed. Uh, but no, Lena, I, I understand why you don't like oysters. It's very, it's very fishy. It's very, very seafoody. So I, I get it. I chewed I, mine. You chew? Oh. oh, um, I chewed it until I couldn't chew it anymore. No, oh. no, oh. no, 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 oh. no, 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 no. Well, no. why did no one at the restaurant no, no, be like, no, no, stop? No. <laughs> Right there. And like help you. I don't want to <laughs> swallow a whole What is she like, doing? Weird... <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, she's chewing the oyster. Yeah. And then, yeah. And then why would you just swallow it whole? That's you so gotta weird. you gotta trust it's gonna mm-hmm. slide on down there. Yeah. <laughs> but then you can't oh, even taste it. it. Oh, it's gonna it. it like a loogie. Oh, I hate it. You know, the more the more Man. that you the more you describe this, the more that I question why do I like oysters? Like the more it's, that... it's... <laughs> <laughs> the more I'm like, wait a it's minute, good. do I do it's I good. like oysters? Do I even like oysters? <laughs> I, like, why, how does like, it feel to consume a being that's alive? Yeah, at the moment you eat it, uh, pretty wait, awesome. What? Pretty awesome. Uh, it's pretty pretty <laughs> sick. Yeah, yeah, oysters are like raw oysters are always live. Oh yeah, you, you, you or, or they'd be bad. Yeah, yeah, if they're if they're dead for like a minute, instant yeah. fucking bacteria fucking swarm yep. into your insides, kill you. 
Wait, are you, I'm about to cry. Are they really are you? alive. They are absolutely alive. <laughs> and then there you were, just chewing away for five minutes so oh, while they were. Like, I'm like, kind of that, crying. That, are you like serious? That, that they were alive. You just slurped down from the it's shell. It's Elena. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's not just, much. It's, it's just really an it's ocean the ravioli. You know how someone like picks up a lobster and they dunk it in the fucking boiling water and it starts screaming <laughs> and then it's cooked like that? You're basically skipping. Like you, your oh stomach is the boiling God. water and the oyster <laughs> is the lobster. Oh, I didn't know that. Like you're cooking it in there. On the house. Oh my god. Uh, I didn't know that. I'm actually crying. It's, it's... I didn't know. Look, I mean, oysters are dumb anyways. Good news is, unlike out. lobsters, which they've proven do feel incredible pain when they're dropped into the horrible <laughs> water, Wait, what? the oysters don't have mouths to scream, so Christ. we'll never be able to scientifically prove that they fucking, even feel themselves Fucking big dead. lobster <laughs> lying again. Look at that. They're like, they don't feel anything. Anyways, it'll be $40 for a lobster tail. You're like, all right, Dude, I'll take it. I've literally <laughs> seen as it, like, because I live in Massachusetts. There's tons of lobster places is like out by the cape yeah, yeah, and yeah. i shit you not i have as a kid watched like you go into like some of these lobster places and they have like the big tub of like all the lobsters hanging out yeah. like frolicking like just like having a good time yeah. and they pick one up and dump it in the water and i could see it flailing and clawing <laughs> at the fucking edge and dying and it really ruined lobsters for me for like a good year and the chef's like smiling wide and you're just like man this guy they really likes like to cook kids lobsters are having fun watching it they do, really do look back and they're like i wonder if the kids saw me fucking destroy this thing <laughs> <laughs> like they may look back to check. I've I've decided I can't talk food with this group because the shit <laughs> yeah, on is, is awful. It's it, absolutely it really does, terrible. It really does warm my heart because again, it's very similar to how we'd always talk about food for like fucking twenty minutes in goblins. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Um, yep. It's yep. like with it's just chicken the new... dandori. Yeah, exactly. Fucking oh my god, I can't believe this. I just realized that. So March of uh, Fay Wonder was uh, premiered. Wednesday, which, by the way, uh, chat, if you haven't checked it out yet, that was a good session one. Go check lurking. that out. You were lurking? I was lurking a little, yeah. Oh, thank you. Um, You're welcome. So, but but it was the Skagzak Festival, so it was a circus based off of everyone's favorite little human-hating goblin. I did except, catch some of that. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> it was it was like all the all the souvenirs. We're just like little like goblin, like like little nods to all the goblins. So like you get you like a, a bottle of brine, which is like two healing potions a day. It's actually a really powerful magic item. Uh, the sword of Steven, the, the fiery trombone made it a, a return. Oh, you said thing once. It was it was epic. I think yeah. everything succeeded the saving throw. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, so that was on sale. And yeah, so it was really good nod. And but when all that was being worked on and it was really nice because all the players uh i think most of them were not from yeah i think most of them were just either in they were all either in small campaigns or they'd never participated in io campaign and they were just looking at all the souvenirs and checking out the circus and learning all about you know like what's the circus about like what's a skag zag and it was just it brought a little what tear is, to my eye that is a great question <laughs> what is a skag zag uh, we one never of them really found out one of them bought a skag zag plush that uh it's a once a day uh. fog <laughs> spell which is all it is just the oh, way no. the way you did why i described it is if you take the plush and squeeze it it goes eh like <laughs> She's crazy. <laughs> yeah, but you could throw it up to 20 feet and it lets out uh, a fog cloud <laughs> like it act, oh, like God. the spell and you could do that once a day with it um but the the plush can be destroyed you can fix it with a mending spell um but yeah it's after all of that because i was looking through all that i was like man i know it's only been like a few months but it's that's cool we got history we got some history in this world with all the it's right i i caught i caught a good amount of that episode it made me it made me very happy to yeah see all awesome. that stuff awesome awesome all right so <clears throat> oh my god i'm choking my own spit i'm not oxygen oxygen oh my you god breathe, you breathe too, too much, much of it you much. weren't using the app to check your breathing <laughs> god uh, this is parody. This is this is a joke. I don't want YouTube to be like <laughs> medical information. <laughs> wrong, wrong medical info. I'm like, I'm kidding if around. Your brain gets too much <laughs> much oxygen. It bloats. <laughs> <laughs> you end up with Jimmy Neutron head. <laughs> oh fuck! All right. Uh, so uh, we got a couple of things to catch uh, Lena up on. I like the idea that Bo's just been sleeping this entire time. So now that uh, now. 
Yeah. Not dead. I sleep. The slime ate them. That, oh, no. No. I never <laughs> checked. No. No, never. <laughs> no one ever, no one ever I checks. I was quietly rolling attack moves and no one noticed. I did. Oh, that's what those numbers were. Tomatoes yeah. sent me like a bunch of numbers. <laughs> Like I, 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 I just I, said, I, is it cool? Is all I said after <laughs> he kept numbers, sending he me all yeah. these numbers, and I didn't know what the fuck it meant. And I was, I just thought he accidentally like like slammed his hand on the keyboard and sent some stuff. So I just ignored it. But now that makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. That makes a lot of sense. Yep. Uh, okay, so well, let let's. Uh, good news is, uh, Bo is still alive. That, uh, yeah, that did not happen. That I was that was laughs. Yeah. That was okay. That was a little pipe dreamers that joke. That was a little <laughs> it joke. Was, yeah, that it actually didn't happen. Don't worry about it. Let me get that Zug Yard. Ooh. Man. I'm gonna miss the Zug Yard when you guys finally leave leave it. Uh Bo pops out of this trash uh, heap over here. He's hey been up. he's been sleeping this entire time. He's been really tired. In the garbage. Mm. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. It's comfy garbage though, so it's fun. <clears throat> and I got a little little something something for you guys. Uh, I want to see the boy. You Let's know him. Man. You love him. Uh, your the new re your new recruit, uh, hero is in oh. the in the zug yard now and actually has a oh, there it is. Uh, just so you guys are aware, uh, you have recruited a level three artificer. Uh, wow. nice, dude. Yo, he looks much less pathetic in this picture. Than he, sounded. <laughs> <laughs> he was, bro, he was drunk and, and feeling sorry. And then he got oh, the a sad drunk. Yeah. And he got the shit beat out of him. And then he, the drunk was beaten out of him. And he was like, yeah, that's awesome. I'm feeling pretty good. So, um, he actually, uh, what's really cool about this is he still has the bruise from when, uh, Fels punched him in the face. So that's going to be on him <clears> for <throat> a little bit. Oh. Fuck yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah. That'll be I want to leave him with permanent marks. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes you say shit that is actually mm. fucking straight up concerning. No, no, I mean, like, I have permanent marks on me that were symbolic of my history, mm. and I should give yeah, him but you some, got those too. You're to being attacked by yeah. a bear. And like, yeah. A, like a clean and it was fucking thing. And like, awesome. he, he is just living his life, and you're like, I want to fucking maim this guy. And I want he maim wanted him. it. <laughs> So, uh, uh, he's mine. I claim him with my name. I, <laughs> so, I want to uh, brand him. <laughs> Yikes. So as a, uh, as a brief recap of what happened last session, also to uh, catch up, uh, Lena. Um, so you guys, uh, kind of took a little bit of downtime to start working on the ship finally. Uh, but you need some parts. Uh, you had, you, you had a broken, what is it? I think you had a broken FTL drive, broken engine. Uh, I think you had an old battery. Uh, no, no, you had a broken FTL drive, a bust up battery. I think you purchased uh, the parts you need for an engine. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you guys uh, made some progress so that everything. Oh, I think you even got a, a food um, replicator working, which yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. It just spits out like really sad paste. It is. It's sad. It's, it's, you could call it that. It's sad paste. It's just nutritional value. That's all it is. That's all, that's all there is to it. it. Right. Uh, yes, you can uh, for the later uh, the later versions Look. of the uh, mm. replicators. But yes, yes I can. love it. DM. Yes, I have to tinkle. <laughs> Already, we just started. Uh, oh, man. Lena, you had a whole fucking week to do this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry. Well, I guess we'll wait because I'm giving the recap. Okay, hold on. Uh, uh, <laughs> go, go, tinkle. Go, tinkle. Go, tinkle. I was literally. Okay, I'm sorry. I was literally. I'm, sorry. I'm gonna join Lena. You know how girls are. Bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone else, go pee. That is, even if you don't have to. Don't pee. If you yeah, don't have to, even mean. if you don't have to, everyone go pee. I just. The bladder needs to be emptied. Uh, before See, what we I continue. do is the respectful thing, which is quietly leave without telling anyone and hope that no one ever asks my character anything while I'm gone. I do it a lot sometimes. See, see the respectful thing I do is I quiet, I mute the, the mic and pee in a bucket, and that way I never have to leave my computer. Well, that's DM dedication. You can't walk away. I can't walk away. It's true. I, I can, like, I can gather context clues. I'm pretty good at that. <laughs> so, like, I don't, I, don't, I don't have to do the bucket. I God, just it's, walk away for a second. God, it's raining a lot over where my, uh, Brett is right now. I don't know what the fuck that's all about. <laughs> God, it's <looking> awful. 
no, no, truly no, awful. no. There, there has been times in the middle of a game where I have stopped and went, I have to go, and I'm going now, and I'm the DM, and that's the last I'm gonna say of it. It's time to go in. Got it. I when yeah. I gotta go, I get angrier and angrier. Yes. And like, you think I'm all? You think all the time I have to go? I know, but like, <laughs> you haven't seen me angry, angry. You haven't seen me like pee angry. You piss so, angry. <laughs> you haven't say. seen me full of piss rage. <laughs> And you know, that's so fucking cursed. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Well, we're gonna wait for uh, for Juniper. And I Lena wonder to come how back. I wonder how PRP commenters do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you still think about that guy from time to time? I I'm, I'm thinking about that guy a lot lately because oh I swear I, somehow this and I I I definitely pile on with it. But somehow I feel like the stuff we do in the intros of these sessions with pipe dreamers is worse than anything we did. Well, I, I think it's I, I think it's because it's got some depth to it. You know what I mean? There's a lot of layers that you kind of have to unravel. Before it's just like, haha, yeah, we're uh, P and P R P L O L R P chicken Yo. tandoori. You know, like that's all we that was goblins. But you know, pipe Lena dreamers. and I just talked so much shit about you guys in the bathroom. Oh, don't Ooh. say that. Why would you that? say you did though? Yeah. I like to tease them. No, she it's a power play. I like to keep them on edge. Fucking Juniper's doing a power edge, play right mad. now. Yeah, Juniper's doing a power play right now, and I don't like it because it really did hurt my feelings, and she won. She won Wait. this. She <laughs> won this. She's saying something like mean and then going, I said something mean about you. Well, like now it's like, all right. I mean, I yeah. appreciate the mean. What, what do you think I said, Tomato? I have truly no flaws. Don't say no, it. Really. No, Juniper. I, I, it baffles me that you can have anything bad to say about Juniper's me. Juniper's looking for ammo. Don't say it. He's like, what do you think I said? And then you say it, and she's like, I'm going to remember that for next time. For real, I want to hurt you. For real, yeah. for real. All jokes aside, for, for, real, for, real. for real. Yeah. Yeah, what's up? Nothing. What did you fucking say, though? For real, though. <laughs> Like I'm like I, we've been laughing and I'm switching to my serious voice. Uh, yeah, what did yeah. you fucking say? <laughs> uh, and, and he, only, dude, he only sounds like that when he really has to pee. And I've only heard that like I, I, once or my twice. My bladder has been fucking really <laughs> filling up since you guys started going to the bathroom. Yeah, and yeah. like I'm getting angry. He's getting so angry. Maybe, He's getting. Maybe let me know what you've been talking proper, about. He's getting proper pissed right now. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! Speaking of where. Um, Where's Lena? I thought you. I've, I thought I've been here. Uh, what? Oh. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Just let you finish talking. Oh, okay. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Could you like, like imagine the power play though of saying you have to go to the bathroom and then you just sit there and watch as we all fucking like just lose our minds Look, over the course. Of the next. It's okay. It's all right. You know, it's <clears throat> it's just getting into character. I get it. Okay. Hey, that's, I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> I've been here for five minutes. Uh, Okie dokie. <laughs> so, uh, last we left off, more for Lena, unless she has to pee again. Um, yeah, you guys started uh, getting parts together for the ship because it's uh, it's time, you know. Uh, now that you've gotten some cash um, and some 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 income, some revenue from the last job, uh, you guys went out in a little bit of a disguise. I think everyone got themselves a fancy hat, went ahead and purchased themselves uh, parts for this uh, for this ship uh, that uh, Zug's been working on. Uh, after a few days of working on various parts and materials to hopefully get the ship up and going, uh, one night you guys decide to uh, bl let let loose, blow off some steam, and uh, you headed over to the bar uh, at the northern part of town. Specifically, this is the bar that uh, uh, Bo has fogged uh, at one point during a breakfast, but fortunately, this is a different cr crowd right here. So uh, um, there, you saw uh, one of the people that sold you some of the parts for the ship. Uh, and he was being a little, a little, a little grumpy Gus. He was being a little depressed and he was being a little sad. He was, he was experiencing some stuff. And uh, Zug, good, good guy Zug uh, went up, bought him a drink, talked about the project that he was working on. And, hey. uh, and uh, yeah, this individual, he just was bummed as everyone is in the bar because they live in Clayberry. Clayberry sucks. Uh, so, uh, Felsic, uh, muttering under her breath, wow, this guy's a real buzzkill, uh, said, hey, <laughs> let's, uh, go up to the front and, uh, I'll take care of it, you know? I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get your worries out. It's gonna be a good time. And this guy's like, well, huh, what? And, uh, they, yeah, they got into a fist fight. They began to fight, uh, do a few swings of the, uh, punch, see, there, of course, Felsic kicked his ass. 
Uh, but it was a good fight. It, it you know, it made him feel. Good fight. He, he was vibing after that. He was feeling really good. He was experiencing life for the first time in a long time. Clayberry, you're just a cog of the machine, man. You're just doing what you can to survive. And uh, Felsic, well, all of you showed uh, this uh, this urban elf uh, one hero uh, that it, you want to do more than just survive. You want to live. You want to experience life. And so, after learning more of what you guys are trying to do, Hero, uh, happily, uh, jo joined up with you guys to help you build this build this ship so that he, along with you guys, can get out of this fucking city. He also refunded you, uh, for the engine parts, uh, that you purchased, uh, and you received your 500 credits back, allowing you to purchase some more stuff. And after a few days' time, uh, you built, uh, the literally the basic necessities for a tier three ship which means the ship takes off the ship goes forward the ship lands and that's it uh, it can go intercontinental um and it has a uh it, it, and it can produce uh food uh for uh 10 people i believe which is just a nutrition gelatin uh that it mm -hmm. produces uh, you also have, um, well, starting, Zug so is starting with, uh, 20 pieces of, uh, of, of ship space, of, of ship layout spaces. Uh, Hero has given you 10 pieces that he's just had around, which means you guys have been given a total of 30 pieces. Now, now that all that has been explained, so pretty much that's all that has happened, uh, Lena, as well as everyone else. But now that I've okay. expressed that and explained <laughs> that... Uh, I would like to go ahead and show all of you, including uh, mainly one Zug, uh, what exactly is a layout space? What exactly is a layout square? Well, boop. I have just dragged wow. one out for you. Uh, <laughs> so uh, you've got 30 of these, which means all you have to do, and uh, Lolban has access to this, uh, is just... <laughs> Drag out, how, yeah. Drag <laughs> out how you want to place the ship. Now, of course, if you want to go ahead and do some, yeah, each square is a uh, ten foot by ten foot. You guys can go ahead and do some uh, some curves or some angles. They'll still take Whoa. up the ten foot by ten foot. This is four. These are four um, <clears throat> layout squares that you could go ahead and use. So, uh, when you are ready, whenever you decide to be ready, uh, you can start organizing this lovely little ship over here into the layout that you'd like uh if you'd like multiple levels things like that uh building and placing a layout square and finalizing the layout square uh will take two hours of time which means uh 30 layout squares will take 60 hours of time it does take quite a bit of time to build a ship uh so whenever you guys decide that you are ready uh, you are able to, uh, yeah, to do so. But you essentially have everything that you need to go. Uh, there was some talks before the session ended about potentially going to the redacted site since you guys had a key card to access the, uh, the pharmaceutical displays for a uh, quote-unquote free sample uh, that was described in the note uh, over at uh, the entertainment offices. Uh, but yet, I will unpause. It's been a couple of days' time. Uh, Hero is now here, uh, doing some work, getting you guys some coffee, and is actually your point of contact whenever you need things during the day. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start flipping some coins right now uh, to see uh, what's been going on with your wanted level over the past day. Uh, once, a once again... Yeah, how's our propaganda uh -oh. going? How's the how's oh, yeah. the eight hours of handing out pamphlets going? Oh, <laughs> yeah. So you, so you had some interesting propaganda. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and make two rolls. Uh, so I'm going to make this roll at advantage. So let's see what happens. Uh, that's a nope. And that's a yep. So fortunately, your propaganda <laughs> did push you over the edge. Uh, and people are more curious about, you know, they've been like, oh, where have I seen these faces before? And now they're really more thinking about the propaganda that you sent out more than the news itself. So the good news it's is... It's confused them. We is, just yes. out a bunch of bullshit. So the good news is the majority of you uh, are currently off the most wanted list. Notice how I said the majority of you. Uh, however, uh, one Drask is still, <laughs> is still wanted uh, by the authorities because 
he's a prot killer. <laughs> so the prots are b d being extra emphasizing uh, to make sure that Drask is the one that is wanted. But the good news is... You know is, who it is. But, it, it, yeah. It's your boy. <laughs> when Felsic was drawing these things, when, when she was making all these, was my character included in them? Or was I... She would have, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yep. So uh -huh. I was not included in the wanted stuff, but now there are pictures uh -huh. or drawings of me out there as well. I'm going to go ahead and do a blind roll. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, a coin. Well, the good news one is negative, that the only two positive. context okay, the public right. has for you is on a picture of, of hey. a bunch of cool guys. So. Out of out of character? Uh -huh. I'm panicking. In character. <laughs> right on. I don't care. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <clears throat> Coin has been flipped uh, to see some secret results of that. Uh, okay. Good, good, good. All right. So, Mr. yeah. Brett. Yes. I sent you a DM. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let me read your DM. So many secrets lately. I don't. Hmm. They are keeping us on edge. All right, today. good, good, good. Most good. excellent, my DM. <laughs> 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 All right. Okay. So, uh, uh, Bo has popped out of a pile of trash, sleeping for the past couple of days. <sighs> His wounds completely uh, rest uh, patched up. A uh, hero jumps up. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh! <laughs> See this little rackling pop out. Oh, hi. Hey, Tuts. Who, who's Tuts? Is this Tuts? Who's this new Tuts? Hero. I still don't understand what that means. Hero turns to the four of you. Uh, do, you do you know this guy? Yeah. Sure. Bo. Yeah, he's like our Bo this hero. Pet. Oh. Uh, he, uh, Tuts. He'll offer. Okay, first of all, you said pet, and then you said this is Bo. So unfortunately, <laughs> he now thinks you're a pet and goes, "Oh, <gasps> Bo, uh, nice to nice to meet you. Who's a good dog?" And then he kind of like kneels down, like slowly putting his hand down to like uh, let let you as if to let you <clears throat> sniff it before he pets. DM, I would like to to change into a bear right now. Okay. DM. Yes, and so you do. Uh, so using one of your wild shapes, uh, Skadoosh. Yep, I'll use one of them for this. <laughs> what the fuck? As uh, Hero kind of like jumps back a little bit, turning it over. It going. <laughs> <laughs> Does your dog do that? Yeah, he's like a weird dog, I guess. Uh, oh. Not a dog. <laughs> oh. Ruh, ruh, ruh. I always assumed it was a dog. It's a bear. It's clearly a bear. You have a, you have a, a bear. You have a pet bit. A, a what? What? I'm sorry. Uh, what's what species is this? It's a bow bear. A bow bear. Bow bear. A bow. A bear. Oh, a a, bo <laughs> a bow bear. Hmm, I it's see. It's a dog. He begins to scratch his chin a little bit. Mm, well, that is exotic uh, to say the least. Um, does he like pets? That, that's up to them. I don't know. Uh, uh, well, I will just, he'll hold his hands back. i just be like, I, I will uh, let him decide when he warms up to be then. And then I will give him all the pets in the world. Yes, I will. As he kind of like leans <sighs> forward a little bit. Okay. All right. Well, we'll, we'll work on that. Uh, and then he just kind of like walks away with his eyes like he keeps looking <laughs> behind him just to make sure this bear isn't like prowling behind him or whatever. And he uh, walks over, folds his arms and goes, all right, what's the plan, boss? Uh, I'm still trying to figure out. I don't know if we have enough panels. Hmm? I mean... Right, we should. We got what well, we got. The engine. We got the battery. I mean, it's 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 gonna be roomy enough, you know. We could always get some beds. I mean, we definitely need some hammocks, absolutely. Especially if we're going off continent. Hmm. Scratches his chin a little bit. Maybe I just need to get started on it. To like visualize, you know. 
To get yeah. started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, a hero is going to go ahead and you just kind of hear it like the, the, the dragging sound of a, uh, of a table and they'll slap down some, uh, blueprints and then he'll look behind and be like, all right, okay. Can, can you see what the shit, what the layout would look like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, so I was thinking like this and then he will draw out that layout that I've posted before. Mm. Um, I'm still trying to visualize that above <laughs> board as well. Mm-hmm. Is this going to be enough? Let's see. This one too. You know, I mean, you're free I'm, to dra- you're you're free to drag them out and start laying them laying them down if you want. Yeah, are we supposed to be able to see it? Mine's just like black with like a green loading bar. But what? Are I'm, you on in, the? Uh, are you in the? Uh, are you in the uh, the zug yard? Yeah, I mean, I, I could I was able to see it a moment ago, but now it's like I'm just gonna refresh Uh-oh. it. Oh, this went black. I don't know why. Let, uh, let's see what happens. Sorry, please continue to get my apologize. No, no, you're good. You're good. It might be the server hiccuping as well. So if you can't see it, maybe it's also your uh, your vision as a bear. But I think you should be able to see oh. it. Oh, oh, it might be the bear thing because I saw like a, a the bar for Bo, but everything else was black. But. Uh, oh, hmm. Very interesting. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give you. Let's see here. Uh, senses. There it is. Okay. I mean, yeah, you should be able to see just fine. You should have some Here, some vision. I'll take a screenshot and I'll, I'll post in the group. Yeah, let me see what's going on there. About to be take a peek here. Ah. Uh, Oh yeah, you you. Bear you, vision is dark. Yeah, you got no you you ain't got no vision. Let me go ahead and fix that for you. Uh, yeah, for, it might just be your. I can see it says brown bear, and I can hear everything. Yep, there I can see. Yep. There we go. That sounded like a dog. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Well, that's because you are a dog. Okay, you know what? Your character is a dog. Say that to my face. It. I literally can't. We are not. Do you mean your character's face? Yes. But you weren't saying it in character. Oh, my character would just be saying it in character. (laughs) Classic dog. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Okay, hold on one second. Let me see what's going on with your vision while you can't see. You silly bear. Uh, Blind sight, dark vision. It's not your and turn into a bear. <laughs> I, mm, but why? But I can why? just un- not turn into a bear. No, but we gotta see why Ever. the heck you can't. Oh, that's why. Has vision. He didn't have vision before. Now you have vision. Uh-oh. Oh, I, I can see. Okay, yeah, thank you. Dan. Yeah, yeah. You're talking literally that has vision, not checks. And I was like, ah, <laughs> I've taken away your eyes. I understand now. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, uh, uh, Zug, feel free to slap down those, uh, slap How down do do the, those things. Oh, uh, you know what I can do for you just to make it a little easier so you don't have to try and figure it out. Uh, I'll just start, dra- I'll start, I'll start doing it. All right. And, and then you can okay. start, you, I think you can move them, right? Yes, you can. Mm. Here you go. Two. Nice. Three. Four. I'm building, Five, I'm building. Six, seven, so, so eight, count. One, nine, two, three, four, ten, six, eleven. I'm putting a, a stack. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. <laughs> 18, <Fun. laughs> 19, this is how I remember, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, Minecraft, dude. <laughs> 26, <laughs> 27, 28, okay. I'm 29, seeing now, I see it. And 30. All right, all of your, uh, all of your panels are up there. I think we're gonna have to go skinnier like this in order to fit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
and then build it how you want. Uh, yes, unfortunately, you do have to work within the limit of the uh, the garage, so you can't build far build farther than that since that's the space you got. This is only for ground layout panels, right? And then the walls are like expected to be on the side. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yeah, your, okay, your okay, walls okay. will be able to build up easily. Yep. Excellent. Excellent. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay. Da -da. Doing the calculations. Dude, frick the old design. Just make a big cube. That'd be sick. How, is there a way to round it? Uh, yeah. So, um, when you finally have like the basic layout that you want, you just let me know what you want rounded. Uh, and then once you are done, done, uh, then, uh, there will be a ship map created in the layout that, more you, panels. that you've decided. Did you use all the panels? Three, Not four, enough five, panels. six. Oh, you did. That's 30 panels. That is 30 panels. We require more panels. Looks like we, we need, need 60 panels. panels. All right. Huh, so that's, good that's one, dog. Four. We need another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Uh, we need another 16. Another 16? Yes. All right. I don't know how we're going to get them, though. Uh, well, you can purchase them already made, uh, or you could build your own. Mm. Let me get the price for you. Um, I know I said a price before, uh, but you know, prices change. Uh, okie dokie. So, uh, each panel will cost you, uh, 100 credits. Ooh. Or you may attempt to build them yourself or mm. 10 credits. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, that's so much cheaper. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I think I think it was 50 credits uh was the base price and then 10 credits if you want to uh build it yourself. Yes, I will build it myself, which means it will take you uh extra time because then you have to build it yourself. You guys cool with staying in for like a week? <laughs> <laughs> also, I want to, because someone commented this uh, on one of the YouTube videos. I'm not calling them out. Um, um, y just in case it was not established, um, you guys are free to do other stuff while Zug is working. Yes. Does anyone want to do some crimes? <laughs> <laughs> I would love to do some light crimes. Like Here, just a... Just Here, a couple. Just Here, a little bit of scheming. Hero looks over and goes, what? <laughs> I believe I established we are, well, they are wanted criminals. <laughs> oh, what right. happened if Bo as a bear puts his paw inside slime? You Is, are, I cannot believe you'd even suggest it. It's like a, a cat. time. You can't eat me now. I'm a bear. Now what? I can damn well fucking try. <laughs> try it. Try it. I. You know what? Bo stands up on, on his hind legs, really tall, as tall as he possibly can. DM, is he towering over slime or not? Uh, He would be towering over slime at a 11 feet tall. Yes, and he goes. Rrr, rrr. Uh, give me an athletics check, please. Uh, one day I'm going to be faster at this. Okay, strength, dexterity, constitution, charisma, or I can just press the C button. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 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 athletics. Where's it under when you click C? I'm a bear. Uh, so select the bear, and you'll see a hot bar in the upper left corner, and you'll see yeah. uh, skills. I mean, can I roll a perception check before they do this athletics? Because if the bear's winding up above me, I would move. Uh, <laughs> the brown bear, uh, as you kind of get on your hind legs, you never doing this before as a bear, uh, immediately lose balance and fall prone on your back. <laughs> Foolish bear. Why am I like And your funny it? hind legs. You see, that's why I don't have any. Can I like, while I'm on my back and prone and I've fallen, 
Can I use my tippy toes to try to put them inside slime just to test? <laughs> yeah, absolutely point. can. All right, do I need to check for that? Uh, go ahead. Yeah, well, can I just start rolling my Eldritch Blast damage whenever they poke parts of their body? <laughs> yeah, no, no, I, I, I already got that. Um, so, it, well, first of all, it depends. Does slime let you poke them with their toes? I'm toes. still confused if I'm allowed to eat this one because they keep trying to feed themselves to me. All right, the toes poke, and you're going to go ahead and start taking radiation damage. Okay. <laughs> done. All right, now what? I'm done with that. I'm just checking if Do I was different as a bear. Are you leaving your toes mm -hmm. in there? I quickly retract my toes and oh. um, don't do that again. Okay. All right, you pull your toes out uh, as you see it glow a little bit before it then. That, that that's it. I just I'm just testing. I'm I want to know. What it's can your go tenth in there. test. I, it's like it's know, like your th it's like your fortieth test at this point. <laughs> you keep testing. Maybe it was different. I'm a bear now. You know, <laughs> no one's checked that. I have a list. Okay. Why do you have a list? Hero scratches his chin. What's wrong with your pet? They're sick. <laughs> How long do I have to be prone for? Oh, but Does you just, you just get you back get up. up. Yeah, until you want to get up. I'll lay here for a bit. Okay. Dad. <laughs> Hero just kind of scratches his chin. He's just like, hmm. Nice bear. I'm going to go dig I think you hole. mean dog. Go <laughs> oh, I, I thought he wasn't. A dog? Or, but he. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Here, just kind of continues mm. scratching his shit a little bit. Uh, Felsic is going to dig yeah, a hole. I'm going to go dig some holes, get some sweat going. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, I want to dig a hole. Uh, Zog is working. Yeah, come <gasps> dig some holes with me. Is this a love triangle? They're going to dig a hole together while Zog <laughs> is busy working on the ship? Oh. I need to work out somehow. <laughs> together? Hey so gang, he what should I do? I want to help. You should come dig some holes with us. I don't know if my body is capable of. Can you digging. digest? No, that's, that's why you need to dig some holes with us. You gotta up your protein intake <gasps> and dig some holes with us. Yeah, if you could digest dirt, we could make this a lot cleaner. You know. Can mm. that work? Like, if this slime turns into one big puddle and just soaks up the dirt and disintegrates this dirt <laughs> as he goes down, he could technically just Hi. burn a I hole. I do want to remind you all that I am a living thing, <laughs> and, and not your <laughs> trash compact. Well, I'm a pet and you are a trash compactor to me. Because You're going <laughs> right now. <laughs> just, so you, just so you remember. I'm just going to continue to lay here. <laughs> I like you just see the, you see the bear just kind of like, if you look, it just looks really just cocky like the bear looks really cocky and just going <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's me is there a way to draw uh yes there is how do i draw uh uh oh uh you could do this no uh no no there is not apparently <laughs> oh no not for not for players I want to be able to see like, or I want to be able to draw my like little room layouts on the panels. Yeah, I mean, I can draw as DM, but I think uh, you guys can't draw. I can do like, uh, can like do squares this. like this, <laughs> but that's not really a solution. Yeah. So you're looking for uh, 16, is that correct? Uh, 16 panels, but yeah, I was just gonna start like marking the rooms and making the layout so I know exactly. Oh, look, but that okay. Okay. Uh, so, blah, blah, blah. uh, so you can work in batches of five to do a check to see if it's there. Um, it'll take you about an hour to make each panel. Uh, so if you would like, uh, let me see. So you've got 115 credits left. Uh, so you Ouch. can buy you can buy yeah you can buy materials for 10 uh, 11 panels excuse me <gasps> wait I have a great idea mm -hmm. I get up and I look at Drask is he still digging holes oh yeah absolutely I would be but no, I'm not deep my head's definitely sticking out wait Drask Drask yeah. has 50 credits. I have an idea what 
We should go out scrapping. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm down. So I have a question. Yes. If we are so low on money, why do we not simply go to the place that they keep the keep the money and take more? <laughs> because that's dangerous and illegal. Hero, Hero would scratch his chin and be like, "I believe that's I a crime." I thought we just did that. Like we did that. What if we? Like we what did if that we? Two sessions ago. What if we borrowed the money? You want to borrow some money from me? I don't. Because I'm like your personal bank account what if at this point. We asked, what if we told them we'd give the money back, but That's we weren't lying. going to give it back? As, no, a, fri- no, as no. a friendly reminder, Felsic has 3,900 credits. <laughs> yeah, know. you know, just a gentle reminder. It's fine. We'll just go out scrapping. We'll pick stuff up from the from the <laughs> stockyard. I'm still confused why you people pay for things. Why not simply take it? Well, you don't pay for the scrapyard. And the scrapyard, we do just take it as yeah. much as our arms can carry. They don't want it anymore. All right. Well, let's go. Yeah. So you guys are going scrapping in the scrapyards? Yeah. Me and Drask oh. are going, and it's like an open invitation. Oh, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go scrapping. Mm. I'm going to go rolling some piles of dirt. Of course. All so right. I'm going to go anywhere people want him to go. That's everywhere. That's everywhere. For anyone, anything anyone tells him. All right, sun, sun up. All right, just making sure, give me one second. Bump, bump, zero and zero, excellent. All right, oh wait, no, I'll do that. I'll keep that there, I'll minimize that, and then I'll do this. Because it's time for some good old fashioned scrapping, everyone. I'm to groove. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. So, where are you going, scrapping? Hmm. Um, am I just a bear? Did I get left behind? I'm, I'm still Did dragging. You, I'm, st- invitation. I'm still dragging you out. Are you going out as a bear? Uh, can I consult the team not as a bear? Uh, you can. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you're you're free to do above board uh, talk. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Should I, uh, you know, tag along as a bear? Probably not. Say no. Probably so my, not. No, no, no. So Probably. actually, <laughs> I swear to God, my first reaction was to say, you know, no. Zug would tell Bo to switch back, but then I remembered that there was a bear just chilling in the void yards area oh, yeah. for like forever, and nobody cared. Yeah, so but like, do you guys? Well, someone cared enough to set a bounty board. to kill that bear, they, you know? We, and but it was there all for of a you while. were spotted when you did a lot of your crime uh-huh. with a bear that looks exactly <laughs> like the bear you're now going to be walking down the street with. But me as the slime will go, I don't care. Wait, what if I had a disguise like a hat? <laughs> What, like, like I a love hat? how far away Shane's laugh sounded. Where did you go? I'm I'm <laughs> just I'm just gonna sit here and uh like a hat? Like see. do we wanna get this bear? Just, a do, hat? The, just do the thing that just I do when I have two bad options, there. Lena, and flip a coin. Flip a coin. Okay, one, you turn back into a bow. Two, you remain a bear, and no one is allowed to do anything else other than accept the outcome. Okay, so tails uh, is a bear, and head is one and is two. Change. Yeah, do one bear, okay. two not bear. Okay, Easy. and flip, and then do a slash roll space. D2. All right. Oh, you want me to do it? I think in she the, rolled an actual yeah, 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 flipped an actual just, just do it in. Just do it in the game. Okay, what am I doing? Slash slash what? Slash roll space D two. You are no longer a bear, as per. There we go. Actually, you did technically two in one. You rolled it twice. <laughs> you rolled it. You need to roll it Wait twice. a minute. <laughs> you, you, you rolled two twice. dice. What's the first one? One? Uh huh. And one is for change, right? One was for not change. Oh, then the one is first. We stay. Okay. Guys, only if the team says it's okay. I think it's not up to us, it's up to fate. Mostly bad idea, but whatever. <laughs> We're on the scrapyard. <laughs> Prots don't really 
go to the scrapyard. I feel so. like Felsic's okay. shaking her head right now. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't do it. Felsic, what is wrong with your neck? Okay, I change. I change back to boys. <laughs> you dare to suspect the point. <laughs> no, but well, the team is, is I don't want to upset the team. We, we had a catastrophe last time. You have to stay time. true to the coin. <laughs> All right. Well, can I hop we on Felsic's shoulders? Yeah. Yeah, you can. Oh. Hey, though, it's, come on, I missed come you. On, I miss you too, Bo. Now Hope we have brought day. upon us years of bad luck. <laughs> let's go to the big heap today. <laughs> all okay, right. Let's... So now you're going to be looking for scrap all day. Is that correct? Mm. Yeah. yeah. And we're going to go to the big heap because, uh, you know, usually it's it's the contested should, one. Should mm -hmm. we? But now we're while, the big group. While we're out, like if we're here all day and it goes tonight, like this evening should we start the process of scouting out that pharmacy thing i would really like to yeah because like otherwise we're just gonna walk in to we something we don't know mm -hmm. okay but that is pretty funny to do that um as you arrive at the big heap uh no one is there today well what are the chances what wow look at all this worthless garbage why would <laughs> Guys, can we just put it in our pockets? Day. Was there something happening that we forgot about? Like a game yeah. or something? Like a festival? Or... I don't remember. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Let's go get some stuff. Yeah. Give me a survival check for anyone who is scrapping. Uh, I'm gonna scrap, but I'm actually kind of curious, and I want to go see if, like, you know how you can go to, like, a place and they'll have, like, hours of service, like, uh, like a schedule on the door or whatever? Mm -hmm. I, I just, I want to go look at that and see if they had the day off or something. Oh, gotcha, like, like, just to see, like, over at the, like, the general, like, yeah, security? Yeah, Okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, so, Good I mean, rolls. you... So you would arrive over at the security booth station where, uh, yeah, someone's just kind of there and they're doing a little, little, little sleepy by, a little, little, little nap right now. Okay. Are they doing the shoo or the me, 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 me? For record, not, I would have gone with Felsic. Yeah. No. Uh, neither. <laughs> they got, they got a little hat just over their eyes. Okay. Well, nothing to see here. And as you stand there, you'll just see him go, huh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, buddy. I didn't want to wake you up. No, uh, no, it's, uh, it's whatever. It, not going to help yo, you. Yo, where's everybody at? Uh, he shrugs a little bit. He's like, we haven't been getting much scrap. Really? I'll, In a I, city like this, you guys aren't getting a lot of garbage? Not, not this past week or so. I don't know if there's huh. some sort of new initiative or something that's starting over, but uh, yeah, we just not been getting not a lot of scraps been being been picked up. It might have uh, been because guys... of the old co kobolds bombing. I think all the the workers are working uh, on getting yes. all that that scrapped up and and getting put together. Oh shit! Did they ever figure out what happened there? No, uh, if from what I understand, uh, Zeon Corp put a. Uh, put a bounty uh, on a on a handful of people. Uh, but Why would they do that? But for for money, I suppose. Hey, Slime, let me do the talking, okay? Who's your dog? <laughs> uh, you're thinking you're thinking of the other one. I'm not a dog. <laughs> What are you, so some kind of some kind of little cowboy? He <laughs> you tell me, partner. <laughs> That's the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> he your he your kid? Yeah, that's uh, he's a a, a little you know. Kid. Oh, he's, where uh, the shit you, know. you come from? He points over That's at Poe. That's the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, dog, uh, uh, no, no dog. Uh, just that's and he's dog. Uh, he's a, uh, he's a, uh, uh, you know. <laughs> I don't, but okay. And he's all right. Oh, good boy. <laughs> yes, he puts. Okay, sorry. This got a little incoherent for me for a second. You said all the workers are either at the cobalt thing or you guys just haven't been getting any metal. 
Well, that's what I theorized. A lot of the workforce has moved in clearing out the explosion that happened in the old kobold. If you ain't got a workforce that can transfer scrap to where it needs to go, well, it just piles up all around the city. I imagine okay. once that's done, you know, because there's only so much you can clear out from the old kobold, uh, we'll, be, we'll be seeing some more scrap appearing over here at the big old heap. But right okay. now, the contracts that are out from Xeon Corp, well, they pay a pretty penny. Oh, weird. Wow, that is weird. Mm. Isn't that weird? Hey. You can't can be I slime talk? guy, right? Oh, that is weird. Hey, can we talk over here without this guy that I don't yeah, know? Yeah, no, I agree. I'm right here, but you, you do you. And we okay, are bye. walking this. Yo, have a have a good work day or whatever. See you, bye. <laughs> this guy scratches his head a little bit. Pulls out a pulls out a little canister. Takes a big swig. Goes back to sleep. Hey, so I'm aware you guys haven't been very good at hiding it. That you are all criminals that are extremely wanted. I mean, we're not criminals, but yeah. But you did blow up that place they're talking about. Uh, 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 uh. And now I'm worried about uh, 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 all uh. of your future. What if? Yo, that's really okay. Kind are of... you following me here? I'm following Stay with you. me. Uh huh. Stay with me. Are you following? Yeah, I'm making straight, Stay straight me. on eye contact. Right. Can you blink? I don't do that. I don't have eyelids. Okay, no, that's fine. I'll try not to blink either. Is there a possibility that any one of you four? could have left some unfortunate evidence of our nope. locations or our identities nope. at the bomb scene. I think I took a shit at one point that night. <laughs> Would it be wise? Okay, stay with me. Okay. If we, all right, stay with me. Ah. Uh -huh. Made sure before they're done cleaning up the site. Stay with me. I'm, I'm with you. I'm with that you. There I'm was so with no you. evidence of your crimes and involvement in the crimes at that tavern. You know what, Slime Guy? You're so right. I think we should totally revisit the crime scene. Right on. Right on. <laughs> hey, anyway, Hi. so isn't it fucked up that the Xeon Corp is like uh, taking all the city's metal? Wonder what's up with that. Anyways. Where did they get off doing that? I don't know why I care. I bet they're building like a big cool mecha or something with that. So just to repeat, so you guys aren't being led astray. It's not that they're taking all the metal for themselves. It's that anyone that can haul the scrap over to the scrap yards is currently cleaning up the old kobold. So there is garbage in the street that's just being piled up because no one well, is taking no, it. No, I, I hear you. I okay, hear cool, you. cool, cool, it's cool. Just, there, was, there was a few like context clues that were kind of throwing me. They were, you were talking about the, 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 anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just yeah, want to make, I, I just want to make sure like whatever Felsic understands, like if that's the route you go, it's no, cool. Felsic is always I three steps ahead, baby. above board, yes. properly think we should go return to the scene now that we aren't being rushed out by props. Uh, Sounds like free scrap to me. And reinvestigate the area. Hmm. You will have that to. That is me, not as my character, but as Tomato Gaming. Hello. You will have to do so <laughs> without Zug, as Zug will be. Oh, and Drask, since they have revol oh. already rolled survival checks for the day, which means. Here's the, the thing. Oh, here's yeah. the thing. You here's guys stop and talk to the security the guard. We no, no, no. I have, I, have, <laughs> I have properly a thing I could do to get us in there. No, this is a really good idea. I really think it should just be the I three think we of should us not me, slime guy this with anyone. Here's the thing. Those <laughs> two, they're, they, they, they're not like us. We're loose cannons. We don't play uh -huh. by the rules. We're unhinged, <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. And then, yeah, I'm a straight what are they? cannon for they're sure. Sheep. A sheep. Everything right, I do is reactions as a result of stimulus around me. I'm reacting right now to go back over there and find some clues. Dude, that's so, you're so in touch with your primal self. And I really, really like that. We should definitely go check that out. Hey, Bo. I'm pretty much all primal. Ah, uh, what's this? The uh, touch saying I don't know. We're going to go time revisit ago. the crime scene. Huh? Because we've you... decided that's the best course of action right now. We're going uh? to revisit the crime scene where you blew up that bomb. Huh? All right, look. <laughs> do you want to stay here or do you want to? Come with us, and inevitably, 
you know, if, if I, you know, if I sat on Toots's hat, could I stay there? Would I disintegrate inside? You are body? not sitting on me anymore. I say this both as me, slime character, and me as tomato game. Tomato, why? Why won't Stop you let me this. be the like, I, I will help. literally continue to attempt to kill you. I don't understand why you keep doing this. Stabbed me. I tomato, will kill please. your character. I just want to stab You're your actively hat. ignoring RP in order to keep doing the same thing. It is baffling. <laughs> I just want to sit on your hat. <laughs> oh Love God. me. Brett, every time they continue to touch me, we will roll radiation. Down. No, I, I'm, I've been doing it this entire time. You're <laughs> preaching to the choir at Fine. this point. I'm staying on Felsec because Tomato Gaming won't let me sit on his hat. Like a it's cool, only you know been the... seven sessions of you being insane. <laughs> Thank God you finally realized my character is a radioactive bomb. But, but leather. But Everyone leather, else thinking. <laughs> leather saves you from that. So there's like that little, you know, comfort area. The leather and then there's you. And then, there, you know, those like guys who like um people in the streets will have their cats and they're like there's like and they have like a hat and the cat's like on the dude's head and he's like riding around on a bicycle and the cat's like i'm just chilling i'm such a cool cat that's kind of how i picture me and you you know we could be huh. that hey maybe it's just a, a more of a point of respecting each other's it's, space it's like it's a hundred percent that <laughs> is it really <laughs> did you never like, want a cool like bird or cat <laughs> or dog like on your shoulder you have been inserting your fingers into this poor boy for seven like, sessions i have to i have to as a character and as tomato gaming stand up for my character <laughs> because you will just you will truly just be like i'm gonna stick like poison in the blob next because you let me and i don't want you to do that okay question question to all team members Raise your hands if you will let Bo sit on your shoulder or head. Uh, I felt sick raises her hand. She is, doesn't, she just raises her hand. There's like no in character conversation, but she does. What's wrong with your okay. hand? Uh, it went up. Ah, okay. <laughs> I, see. I need consent from here on out. It went up. Drask and Zug are no consent. They're working. They're digging the scrap. They're here. Right in here. I'm oh, scrap. They're on I'm their dropping it on my head, I guess. Sack. Yeah. <laughs> Where are we? I, th we're all, I thought we were all in so the same group. There's like a little security desk. Yeah. Brett you got me you, if I'm wrong. You, yeah. But yep. Yep. Before you get into the scrapyard yourself, there's a little security desk. We just walked mm -hmm. in because we we work here. Like we just do this. Yeah. They just, uh, we don't they need just to talk to the security them. guard every time. Yeah. Oh. And you guys stopped and talked to him. Yeah. Security. Got it. Got it. Got it. Security's a little redundant because they're just like yeah we're protecting garbage <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> it's hmm. like it's like security at a, at a at a junkyard you know it's just like yeah man yeah, i can get that, that. Mean, look slime can't at, hold anyone's hand at the end of the day what it comes yeah. down to is i have to rp what i view my character Wait, as slime, and you, you submerging can't... stuff into my character will result in you receiving damage and you i can't save intimate. you if you keep doing that, that is a-okay my you character is slime <laughs> That's what I, okay, wait, this we is a real question. We can never you on your forehead. Yeah. Why you would you want to? <laughs> we love you. This Are you going to get ever get, does slime get a girlfriend? This is amazing. We, we're only uh, eight sessions in. We haven't. I'm, I'm eight days old. <laughs> I barely know what's going on with my <gasps> entire wait. deal. What if I got radioactive um, uh, canceling gloves and, and, and then slime can I hold my a, hand? I have a new way to do this. Hey, do you guys I have a new see, fun like, a way. broken building and a bunch of blood stains? I think I that's like a really so cool bad. idea right now. <laughs> but for, I have a way to solve this mm. and it is very simple. Whenever Bo is thinking about touching slime, they have to roll a survival check at a DC <laughs> that you set and you can tell them if they've parsed that it will hurt themselves. <laughs> I mean, I implore Brett to at I, some point in any of these sessions make gloves where I can hold his hand. 
I mean, Please. you you're 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 free to do as you wish. I I am simply a moderator of your good, neutral, and bad decisions. I'm gonna hold your hand at the end of our lives, whether you. I'm going like to fucking or... kill your character. <laughs> <laughs> and I won't. And I I've tried to make it so clear, and like I'm not gonna feel bad when it happens anymore because I've tried to make it so clear. So this not is without... my solemn promise: if you continue to escalate. I will also continue to escalate, and at some point, everyone else won't be there to say, Slime, don't eat Bo. <laughs> Do you think that Slime will like me at a distance, though? I don't know, man, if you stop trying to stick your <laughs> fingers and toes into it. This is amazing. This How is many good. times okay, okay. do I have to have my character say he's not a trash compactor and not just like a fucking bin for people to like poke shit into? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did that one get through. <laughs> Did you get to understand? I just want to hold your hand, Slime, please. Only one way to find out. Slime said no. Slime said no. Slime. Said no. Slime said no. This is so sad. Get yourself together. Wait, oh my God. <laughs> okay, let's go check out that crime scene. Hey, we should go check that okay. out. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, the three go. boys are up here fucking lifting yeah. shirtless in the sun and just hey, picking no a metal. I, I want to make, I wanna make clear. Yes. Uh, while we're going to this, I want this to be at night. Uh, for oh, very okay. obvious reasons, I assumed we'd like that would be something we'd want to do. No, at no, night. you yeah, just sure. you just said sit here and play rock paper scissors with myself. Yeah, I was like, you you just said let's go, and I went all right, and then I just started I, moving. My you guys. my character would ha he is aware they have an option, but it has to be yeah. at night. Uh, are you guys going now or at night? Oh, let's let's go at night. That's better. Let's wait until going, darkness man. falls upon the city. Partner, partner. All right, so a day of scrapping. Night falls over Clayberry. Good news! Uh, you've got oh, enough. Scrap and go. You've gotten enough scrap uh, to build four layout uh, squares. Okay. Okay. How much did I find, Brett? Oh, you found nothing. You found absolutely nothing. <laughs> I found been... a big piece of metal and I Why? dropped it on my foot, and I had to sit to the side for the rest of the day. <laughs> you, you, yeah, I apologize. You have found nothing. All right, so four squares. We just it, need 12. I think I have 120 gold, don't I? Uh, look, you have 115 credits. Hey, Dress, can I borrow five credits? Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. Hey, Tuts, 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 Zug. Huh? I'll give you, I'll give you, listen, I'll give you 10 credits if you hold my hand. This? Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> god damn it. Like for I, I give Doug 10 credits. Oh my god. Let me uh let me check uh what is the value of Bo? Uh this Bo, might be a prank. Uh okay. So Bo has 250 credits from everything that's went down. Uh, so you're giving uh, five credits there. Bo is now at 245 credits. And uh, five more credits has been given to Zug uh, for holding Bo's hand. I think what Bo's gonna do is like very quietly, while people are just doing their thing, I'm just gonna walk up really silently and, and put my teeny tiny little raccoon paw like in their fingers and look up at them and like, just see if they're okay with it. You know, that's my thing now. There it is. Zug? Yeah, no, he, I mean, All right. he grabs it firmly yet tenderly. Oh, oh, sweet. Uh, hey, Zug, check this out. And Felsic is going to try to do a standing backflip. <laughs> <laughs> That's a 15. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> what is this that was fucking awesome! <laughs> <laughs> Let's oh my. fucking go! <laughs> All right. Oh my God. So you're buying uh, enough scrap uh, for 120. Okay. Uh, so you bought uh, 12 uh, layout square materials 
Uh, you will tomorrow need to make some checks to see if you successfully turret them. It's 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 easy enough. It's mainly to check to, to do. yeah. It's mainly to check to see if you you know don't critically fail it. And of course, uh, you can do about you can bake about uh it takes an hour to bake one layout square. So and you can roll in batches of five. So you can do one roll per five if you'd like. And then, of course, Hero will help you out with that, uh, which means you'll double your output at that point, which means you could build about, uh, yeah, I mean, if you guys spent the whole day, uh, each of you, for six hours, uh, you guys can build um, all the pieces that you need. But, yeah, so you can do, like, a batch build, and yeah. But now it is the evening hour. So what would you like to do during the evening hour? Hmm. Do we tell them? Well, so I mean, so okay, so uh, uh, out of out of character, above the table, I want to do two things if we can. Check out the uh, the wreckage of the bar, and then also maybe scope out Redacted, because I feel like we yeah. should at least know what we're walking towards when we inevitably go uh, get our way in. True, but we could probably only do one tonight. We have, okay. we have I mean, time to do both in two nights we don't have like a i don't think we have like an initial like sure oh, sure out yeah by now. i'm just just getting in my quota but i it's definitely okay. do, just do think some, do some extra tavern and stuff. needs to be investigated sooner rather than later okay i guess we, i guess we could invite them i mean here's the thing they aren't loose cannons they aren't loose cannons they aren't loose cannons they're kind of yeah Maybe it should just be the three of us, yeah? Maybe. Or maybe we tell them. <laughs> Does Bo have any input on whether just the three of us go to the tap room? Uh, Bo's not with you right now. Bo's holding Zug's hand at, this, at the heap. <laughs> I like to think uh, I just finished a long day of work and we're at the top of a trash pile holding hands yeah. on, looking, at, looking at the sunset. <laughs> it's it's so gonna be... <laughs> It's gonna be a simple in and out visit. It is. It should be really easy. It should be a piece of cake. We walk in. We walk out. Uh, right. And what is this for? For uh, the uh, the wreckage of the old kobold, or yeah, we just want to go by and make sure there's yeah. not any like no. remaining mm -hmm, mm -hmm. evidence of our characters in that place. Uh, do you oh. do you guys head out uh, together without uh, telling anyone? I'm leaving that in <laughs> Felsic's court because my character oh, has no. flip flopped it. I'm leaving this to you. Here's the problem: is that you've made a very persuasive argument. Uh, Felsic is gonna go. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's slink off into the night, guys. If they kiss, will her lips be gone? <laughs> I would never objectify my beautiful slimy son like Please that. Please do not. <laughs> <laughs> Just asking the real questions. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I want to elaborate as we get closer to the place that I'd like to attempt to scout like before we get like before we walk into the property, like see right. if there's like people around or like what the light is like. How easy it'd be to see someone wandering around. Okay. So let me go ahead and just Hi. Hey, I, I wanted to make a perception of this check to see if I see them walking away since I'm just sitting down, not working. Yeah, you're I, just, uh, you've had a real now, shit day. Now, the question is, would you snitch or tag along without Well, that's that anyone? that's what it is. Yeah, so, uh, Drask, you would uh, see uh, the, the slime and Felsic uh, leave the Zug yard. I wouldn't say anything. I'd stay sitting here, but now there's a lot going on in my mind. This, this whole time, she's, like, listing off names. She's like, okay, so, like, do you like David? Can I call you David? What about, like, Chris? <laughs> None of these mean anything to me. Okay, that's cool. That's fine. It's whatever. Oh, my God, this is so cute. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Can so, I let go of your hand yet? <laughs> get your 10 credits worth, at least, you little freak. <laughs> when you ask that, Bo looks up into your eyes. And he like tightens his grip a little bit more. And then he looks back into the sunset. Dude, I would pay ten dollars to hold a raccoon's hand. Are you kidding me? 
<laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> God. I like this game. All right. As you arrive over to the side of the old kobolds, um, you see a lot of uh, caution, uh, caution tape, uh, specifically from the uh, from the KDF. And you will also see ba, 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 an armored guard. One moment, please. Right here. Also, do a little light here so you guys can kind of see them. Yep. Light. Porch. Yeah, but all right. This takes a, a minute. There we go. Uh, yeah, you'll see someone like guarding the premises over here. Okay. Uh, this area does not appear to be well guarded. Is that like a, as far as we can see the only guard? Uh, yeah, so you have enough. Um, you did mention you were like scoping out the place to see exactly what was there. Um, lots of caution tape uh, from the KDF. Um, some, some fences have been built around. Um, and then just a variety of vehicles that have been clearing out the wreckage of the old kobold. Um, but there only appears to be one guard at the wreckage site. Damn, they've got this place locked down. Yeah, I wonder what this stuff is for. She's gonna tar start taking down some of the uh, the tape. tape. Okay. If you're going it's to start taking down the out. tape, how far away is the guard from us right now? I mean, he's he. It's far enough where if you do want to start getting closer to the old kobold, um, like where the tape's at, you can easily take that down. If you start going to the old kobold, though, I will require stealth checks. From the okay, I this is important now because I have two methods I can get us there, but neither are very great for you, but they're easy for me, and I'll explain why. Oh yeah. I okay. I have the spell darkness. Okay. Which can be placed on a point. Uh -huh. including me or mm -hmm. technically his mm -hmm. own torch and stuff mm -hmm. out all light around him magically mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it's, it's darkness, impossible yeah. from there okay uh but my character can see in magical darkness so i'd be oh, able to shit, see through no it way. perfectly fine uh you however would be completely blind minus yeah, probably yeah, the ability yeah, yeah. to follow my voice mm -hmm. and maybe my snail trail okay uh which would you prefer Sorry, you only gave me one option? I could either snuff out light around him on his point and he might panic or he might just be like, what's wrong with my torch? And like go off and then realize <laughs> it's being followed Stupid by ass. darkness or I could place it on myself and we would be in complete darkness, but I could only, I'd be the only one that could see. You would be unable to. <laughs> I, this is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave my fate in your hands uh, you can cast darkness on yourself and guide me to look for shit that we may have left behind. All right, so here's the deal. You're gonna follow the sound of my voice. Okay. Okay, I'm yeah. gonna have to keep it real quiet though because okay. of the guard. Yeah, I can, right? I can, I can be quiet. I can be sneaky. Here, and she is actually gonna go into her shit. Uh, uh, and she, she's gonna pull out like her old uh, uh, wrestling persona mask, uh, which is like this owl bear mask that kind of covers like the top half of her head. And she's gonna put that on and she is going to become the visage of her alter ego, uh, Flex Enforcer. Flex Enforcer. Awesome. Yeah, Flex Enforcer. That was her wrestler name. Does, does- uh, Yeah, they can't you... tell it's me. Cause I'm wearing, yeah. yeah. Uh huh. All right. I can't tell who you are. Do you have a rope or something? Just in case you do get completely confused and don't know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure I have a rope. Sure, yeah, rope. Just I tie it around the parts of me that aren't me. Okay, I, his, yep. his like jacket. Huh, okay, got it. I tie it through some loops on his jacket. All right, Slime is going to cast darkness on a point, which is in this case going to be his own hat. 
and put it on. Okay. There's a magical darkness surrounds you. Uh, and you've got the you doing a rope plan, correct? She's tied a rope around my. Yeah, I'm oh, being led like a me. like a little dog. Little doggy right. on a leash. Wait, does it not disintegrate? My. It's hat? around the like. Oh, jacket. oh, the the rope. It's around my jacket. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. As a magical darkness fills the area, uh, you are just literally this cloud of darkness that uh, no one can really tell uh, yeah, while you dark. navigate around. Um, are you, uh, so are you going to the site now? Yeah. All right. Uh, under the veil of the magical darkness, you will arrive over at the site. There, you could overhear the prod. Uh, speaking within their uh, within their uh, shard communication device, and he goes, "Yeah, well, well, I mean, there's no activity here. Uh, yeah, no, I could cover cover the shift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what his deal is, and you kind of see him like looking around as he's like walking away a little bit." He goes, I, I genuinely don't understand why they're on high alert all the time, but yeah. I mean, <laughs> look, ever since the subject escaped, they're just, he's just been, yeah, absolutely. He He's literally has just been so high strung. <laughs> I know, massive embarrassment. I mean, they'll find him eventually. I mean, they're going to go ahead and swarm the town for as long as they can. Yeah. Yeah, I'll return to the site. All right. And then you'll see him slowly start walking away. If he, how far is he, is he like fully out of sight walking away? Yes. At this point? Yeah. Okay, if if it is very clearly like we are mostly alone now, Slime would check some corners first with his like periscope <laughs> eye kind of thing, and then he'd drop darkness. All right, the darkness, the magical darkness drops as you guys are outside the old destroyed building of the uh, of the old kobold. You'll see a variety of different shard uh, uh, shard devices uh, which have been used to try and clear out the scraps. Uh, piles of scraps surrounded the area itself. Um, they have been doing efficient work clearing the site. <clears throat> I do want to pick up some metal scraps. I want just to be helpful. <laughs> uh, to pick up enough metal scrap to actually uh, make uh, some some layout squares uh, will take you a matter of hours. Way too long. All right, got it. Uh, so let's let's just search the wreckage and let's see fan out find. and take a look around. Yeah, uh, find anything well, weird. All right, let's go ahead and, and take a uh, um, go ahead and do an investigation check. I got you. I got Don't worry, you. intelligence is my strong suit. 18. Ooh. Uh, woo! <laughs> All right. It's okay. You're you're the muscle to protect. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Felsic, as you look around, you as you're like digging through the area, you smell something foul. Oh yeah. What's it smell like? Pretty bad. Damn. Like Spice sewage. Stinks. Like sewage bad. No, the seafood platters. <laughs> um, oh, they were my favorite. That's a damn shame. A uh, damn shame. Slime, as you look around, uh, the one thing that <laughs> you managed to find two things as you're digging through the scrap. Uh, one would be part of a shirt that your previous life was Talon was wearing. It's singed and burned, uh, but you can you do recall wearing this at one point in time. Would you have been wearing this in like the dream that my character had? Because yes. I remember, like you said, I saw him in my dream. Yep. Okay. And then another thing uh, you would see is a, uh, <laughs> a almost a burnt out um, piece of note 
Um, it just says the letters TA on it. And then it says uh, below that PR. Uh, but the rest of it's been burned away. TA. Hey. PR on the line below it. Does Tapper mean anything to you? No. <laughs> how how are the letters spaced? Uh, like, are they? Is it T A and P R like right next to each other? No. Or... Um, so it's T A. It looks handwritten, and then <clears throat> yeah. underneath that P R. Okay. Yeah, no, no. I was trying to ask if there's like uh uh like any letters in between those that are like you no. know kind of way. Okay. Cool. No. 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 Yeah. That, that that doesn't mean shit to me yet. Am I still uh, holding Zug's hand? <laughs> Zug. Uh, it's been a little bit of time, maybe a little too much time. So I'm just gonna take your hand and just like, without saying anything this time, because last time he asked it didn't go well, he's just gonna take it and set it on the ground and then pat it on the top and then put his own hand back and start to get up. <laughs> okay. Pats. Okay, all right, I'm gonna go back now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think that's... Yeah, I think you needed that. I don't know why. Yeah. I return to Zugyard. Um, and as you, uh, yeah, as you investigate, uh, that's all that you find within the wreckage. Slime would definitely look over to Felsic and remark, I have seen this shirt before and show them the scraps. Yeah, that looks familiar to me, right? Yeah. I imagine. Okay. Yeah, yeah that was your, uh, I don't know what you call them, your predecessor? My predecessor. Your predecessor, yeah, I'm not good with long words. I... We should probably hang on to that. Saw him. Yeah? In a flashing image sequence that I believe you people describe as a dream. Huh. Neat. I do I not believe like... it is normal to do that. No, but, no, but like, I wonder if it's like, like one of those super, super weird flashbacks that people sometimes have when they're like in the womb and they're like, whoa, I could like, I can re like remember hearing a heartbeat. I remember it being wet. Like, do you know what a womb, it doesn't matter. I definitely don't relate to that. No, it's uh, cool. I will also let you know as you continue to investigate underneath the, uh, the cloth, the shirt, um, that it is, uh, apparently uh, two different articles, like pieces of articles of clothing. You can safely assume the second piece um, was worn underneath the outfit that he was wearing. And as you look further, uh, it appears to be a piece of a lab coat. Huh. Huh. I wonder if he worked at the pharmacy. Brett, what did the environment of my dream look like beyond seeing Talon? I don't completely remember if you Sterile. described like the, what was it? Sterile. Sterile? The backdrop in my dream was certainly st a sterile one, something, something very clean. Perhaps mm. like a pharmacy. Perhaps like a pharmacy, yeah. I'm not sure why I would have been in one of those, though. Yeah, neither do I. Uh, I guess tomorrow we can maybe scope that place out. Maybe we find out where you were born, little guy. I was born here. Oh, well, yeah, okay, sure. But like, you know, maybe maybe we can find your actual name there, you know? Otherwise, oh, I'm right just gonna on. call you, otherwise I'm just gonna call you David. I'd prefer something like Flumbo. <laughs> That's, that's really good. I'm messing with you. That would be ridiculous. <laughs> okay, what I can't about, like... believe you'd even believe I'd want to be named that. Dude, you have slime jokes. That's awesome. She's going to start walking back. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, the chat was getting very excited and still no name was decided. <laughs> I'm, I'm the bomb. I'm the bomb. <laughs> uh, hold on. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Okay, I'm the bomb. Uh, Hero, uh, by the way, believes your name is Bomb, but like, like I mean, it's the one. 
I'm not gonna say what my character's name yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Above but, one, I have never picked one. But but he uh, spells it. But he spells it I like this. I have responded to the, the bomb. <laughs> yeah. Most of the time. Yep. And it's what I always say to intimidate people unintentionally. Uh, so you guys, <laughs> you guys going back to the Zug yard? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's time. It's time to return back to the Zug yard. I've got so many maps. This is awesome. Uh, does anyone need to take a break uh, before we continue on? Anyone got a... Go oh, I'm going to take a super quick run for water. Okay. I need water. Go get some water. Yeah. Don't dry. Why am I still prone as a bear? Napping. I just loaded okay. the map. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Get over it. You're not the only one that can turn into a bear. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Technically, DM, yes. Wrong. I'm a druid now. What? Yeah. And I've when? Si I've seen bears before, so now I. I, I texted Brett and I said, "I want to just change my whole deal, retcon okay. it." And, and, that, and then you I responded with, I, "I I responded with, uh, Lane is gonna lose her shit. That would be really funny." Yeah, you added the LOL and then <laughs> LMAO right yeah. after. <laughs> and I, I I definitely XD'd. I XD'd after that as well. I XD'd. That too. means if you turn into a bear, I can hold your hand. <laughs> Wow. That is true. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I'm keeping uh, my druidic it. nature a secret. It's part of my RP. <laughs> God. All right. Once, uh, uh, once everyone gets back with their water, we shall continue. By the way, it's definitely nighttime here. So, woo! All right. Let's get that. Let's get that zug yard going. All right. Uh, is anyone doing anything tonight before they uh, long rest again? Hmm. Hmm. Nah. What's under dress eye patch? Well, you, we don't know that until um, hey. until dress comes back. So uh, I am back. Welcome Can back. Can go like scurry in front of Drask and do little grabby hands. Hey, Toots, come down here. Yeah, what? I like, bend do, down. Eye to eye. Yeah. Bo like gently puts his little raccoon fingers and caresses the eye patch. What, what happened here? It's gone. What happened? Uh, you get in fights. Sometimes things happen. Sometimes a knife goes in your eye. You know. Whoa! Can I see it? <laughs> yeah, it's gross. Uh, I'll look at my eye patch. That's <laughs> <laughs> yo. Whoa! That's why I wear this thing. It's it's nasty. Pretty cool. Yeah. Hey, Zog. Uh, my hand fell off when we were at the scrapyard. I need you to fix it. Huh? <laughs> what? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm holding my metal hand. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess I tried to lift stuff that was too heavy. Okay, come here. I give mending. And it immediately just attack. It just it just pops back on and attaches to itself. I don't know what I would do without you. <laughs> Neither do I. All uh, right, everyone long resting. And Bo yeah. very gently and carefully just with distance sit next to the slime and curl up in a bowl before everyone falls asleep <laughs> with one long look into his eyes. And then- Slime and does then... not, hang on, I'm gonna see right here. <laughs> Dude, this is this fair. Slime does not notice. That's fine. I don't need I don't need him to notice. He's just gonna keep. Oh, really? Distance. Likes unobtainable things. <laughs> and he's it's like an obsession him. for them. Mm -hmm. It's okay. I'm keeping my distance, and I'm gonna go to bed. Slime, si Slime sleeping not in a noticing bucket. Proceeds to navigate away. <laughs> 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 uh, 
All Can right. I do he, a picks, he picks a nice spot in the cracks of Zug's work to uh, squeeze in with his body, leaving his garbage uh, behind Whoa. in a big pile. You know what? Fine. That's fine. I'll take it. I'll keep Look, trying. I've got us. I, I failed my perception check. I don't even know you're in this fucking room. Just don't know. And Wait, so, would it be the opposite? I'm sorry, DM. No, mm -hmm. it's all good. And so the next morning passes. The rest of you are long rested. And, uh, and yeah. So what will you be doing this morning as you all awaken once again? Uh, Hero does what he always uh, d be doing. Uh, he'll nod at everyone and be like, all right, I'm toast and coffee, toast and coffee, toast and coffee. Yeah. Pinker Hell guns, yeah. everyone. How would oh, he react if slime falls out of the I'm pieces punch that he's been working Jesus on. Christ. <laughs> what? Hey, hey, don't do that. Oh, and then he realizes the, 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 the slime and goes, oh, hey, hey. he looks up. Hey, where did you come from? Ah, uh, you know, in there. But he looks at the panels again. He's like, is he, is he sleeping in the panels? He won't be for long. Once we get components and stuff in there, you can't do that anymore. I'd like to see you stop me. <laughs> Pulls out flamethrower and looks at him. Pulls listen. out cannon hands, looks at you. Listen, bomb. It's dangerous in there. You know what I mean? The panels themselves. It's, 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 it's gonna hurt. It's there's a lot of machinery that we're gonna be putting in there. Are we you will... corroding stuff when you like sleep in it? Hang on, let me take a let me let me check. He's gonna move his head back <laughs> inside of it. <laughs> uh, Is anything corroded? No, nothing's corroded. Looks fine to me. Uh, okay. The metal feels a bit warm, but other than that, it, it nothing's corroded. Here's gonna scratch the back of his head, and he's like, I, I mean, there's plenty of other room, right? Uh, do we need to get him a hammock or something? I mean, why you sleep it? Why? He that's that he points over at you, and he goes, why? Why do all of you stay exposed out in the open where predators can attack and kill you? I simply don't understand it. Why are you not all squeezing into small cracks where things cannot reach you? You don't make any sense. Because mm. we locked the door. He thinks to himself and he says, I mean, technically we already do that. And we got a roof over our head, surrounded by four walls. This just, um, I guess think if, of this as like a big crack. Yeah, but also if, if you guys don't mind, uh, slime guy. <clears throat> Uh, we have something called an endoskeleton, which is like a, a, a big hard thing that's inside of our bodies and it stops us from being <laughs> able to squeeze into very small holes and cracks. No way. Yeah, isn't that fucked up? That is freaky. Yeah. But I guess I've never seen any of you completely decompo decompiled and kind of placed out in a we big We can show you some decomposed parts. bodies eventually. It's so I just got to see the inside oh, to know what's going on. Hero kneels next to the slime and he is, he kind of like tilts his head a little bit and looking around and he goes, you put your hand in there. All right. I, um, geez, what's the polite way to say this? Um, what, where do you hail from? Ah, oh, the tavern. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He nods, kind of, kind of like, sure and they go, and he's like, yeah, yeah. I mean, sometimes it feels like you, you, you live at that place if things get rough enough. But like, no, no. I mean, like, uh, hmm. What's the most delicate? I'm an elf. Um, that's that's uh, you know, orc, orcs. I'm looking over at Zug and, and Drask, uh, human, and then points over at you and goes. What are, where, what, what are you? And he just, he, I was like, what, what exactly are you? I, th look, there's no polite way to say it. And he'll stand back up. What? Hey, all I'm saying is I was not born in a massive explosion at a tavern with an instruction manual in my hands. <laughs> he turns out, you we're, tell we're me. Kinda, we've been over this before here. He really doesn't know and we don't know either. Uh, however, we do have some clues. We have some clues, and we're gonna find that. How much have we tonight, told Hero maybe. so far? 
I mean, he's still trying to piece it together. He doesn't. He hasn't really been told. Should we tell him, like, you know, you guys, uh, you know, the tavern? I, uh, oh, and he kind of shrugs, and he's like, buy guns, be buy guns. He knows that, he knows that our association is with that. Since yes. I asked in character, like, is he cool? My character has been viewing him as like, a, this guy's okay to talk about. Yeah, he's just been saying oh, all the things he is, even though he doesn't understand all of it. He goes, all right, well, uh, mm, is there another place that maybe you could, uh, Sleep? Because there's not going to be any room for you in there. Yeah, once we get all those panels welded up, there won't be much there. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> what? 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 It's Simply something... leave a spot for me to sleep in. Well, there, there'll be rooms. Yeah. He looks over at the he, hero will hold out a finger. Go, oh, wait. Oh, 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 wait a minute. And he, uh, he'll go over to the junk pile and he kind of like starts digging up and he goes, oh my, this will be perfect. And he pulls out, he starts, uh, uh, he pulls, he pulls an old bathtub and then he turns over to everyone and he goes, eh? This is like uh, him size, right? Might need a lid. I think it needs a lid. I think he would love a lid. Do you yeah. need a, do you need a, a lid? I want just, a lid. Want something to slide into, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, I could build something. Hey, uh, how uh, tight can you squeeze? Like, what, what are we looking at here? It's shockingly tight. <laughs> uh, can you give me an example? He's gonna squeeze back into one of the narrow one inch spots in the shit <laughs> they've been welding together. <laughs> Hero just stands there, like flabbergasted, like dumbfounded. And then he turns over to see everyone else's reaction, as in, like, is this a normal thing? And sees no one, like, no one alarmed looking at anything. And he's just like, ah, so, uh, pretty tight space. Hmm. Okay. All right. Um, uh, I think I could work out something with that. Oh, what if I go ahead and he just kind of starts walking away, scratching the back of his head. And he's like, what if I take one of those metal barrels? You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Zug? We take one of those metal barrels with the with the lid. And uh, it kinda... Yeah, I get you. I get you. Zug's getting up for the day and uh, he's going to go start working on some more panels. I want to make them into panels. Oh, and that's boom. right. The panels. Yeah, let's get to work. Bull looks at uh, Drask. Drask is not... I don't know what Drask is doing, but huh. Bull very quietly slips his tiny raccoon fingers <laughs> in Drask's hand. I would say Drask is still, like, tired, laying down, practically asleep. Okay. He sits down next to him, and he, you know, on his little bum, and he puts his feet up in the air, and he just slides his little raccoon fingers in his hand while he's sleeping, and he kind of, like... You know, taps his toes together happily, and his tail's kind of wagging, sitting, holding hands. That's what I'm doing. Right. We should probably get to work on those panels. Panel time. <laughs> All, All right. right. legit entering creep territory. <laughs> <laughs> so fast. I think Bo wants to be a pet. I think Bo just wants contact of any kind. Uh, all right. So we will start uh, first. Uh, let me ask you this, Zug. Do you want to build? Do you want to do uh, a roll for a stack of uh, plates, or do you want to do uh, separate rolls? Hmm. Uh, you can roll, roll up for a stack. Okay, a stack it up to five. So you'll be rolling for five. Yeah, I'll do five, five, two, because I need oh. twelve panels, and we. Found well, Hero's gonna help you out, so you only have to make six panels, and then he's gonna make six, the other six. Oh, okay. Yep. All right, then. Then let's get to work, shall we? Uh, Hero also will be making uh, that. Uh, the DC's pretty low, uh, so let's go ahead and see. For panels yourselves, the DC you're looking to beat is five. You're, oh, no. you're wow. just You're just melding, you're just melding panels right now, so. All right, Hero's gonna get started. 
Oh my god, <laughs> easily. Hero. Uh, yeah, hero. Yeah, all right, son. Yeah, hero spends the fir the the five first five hours just with ease welding. In fact, because he rolled a crit, uh, the six hours of work or the five hours of work only turns into uh to two and a half hours of work. So he is just weld like welding like mad, and he'll use the he's final one. And uh, yeah, so after literally three hours of time, he's like, "All done." All right. And I'm also working. Mm hmm. Uh, yep. This is the first stack. Got it done perfectly. One more roll, please. Yep. There it is. So after after six hours of time, um, which means it's now the afternoon. Uh, you guys have created another 12 panels. Now I'm gonna Job's stack done. I'm gonna stack that right now. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, wait, hold on. That's not working. Oh, that is working. Whoops. Okay, hold on. Sorry. Uh so we got 12 panels, correct? One, two. It'll be three, 16 total more, because we've got four as well. Six. Seven. Eight. Where'd you get that? Oh, that's right. Nine. Wait, where'd you get the four from? We got four from Scrapyard. Yeah, but didn't you like buy the rest that you needed to get the 12? Or were you trying to get 16? Well, we bought 12 and we got four and we uh, want to get 16. I, I see. I see what you're saying. All right. Uh, okay. 13, 14. All right. I believe that is now 16 there. So you guys are able to make the layout that you'd like for the ship. Epic. It is now mid-afternoon after all the work that you've done uh, with the scrap panels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, it's, it's going. Let's make a nice little spaceship. How did, wait, I wonder if I can do this? No, I was trying to do the rounded edges at the top. Oh yeah, it will be still make the edges and then if you need them rounded, I'll just round it up. Just kind of build it in square form first. Okay, okay. It's like a block of marble. I mean, yeah. it's beautiful. Carving it out. We need to come up with a with a name for this, right? I imagine Zug kind of has the uh, the vetoing authority over that kind of thing, but yeah. What did well, you want to name the ship? We need a name for a boat. Uh, I didn't have a name. Okay, cool. We will come up with it together. Mm. Hmm. Hero scratches his chin and just go and yeah, that's I think that's the first thing he'll also ask is like, so do you got a name for the ship? Uh, no, I, I haven't gotten there yet. No, <laughs> I, I'm, I didn't I'm really thinking. think this was ever going to be a reality. This was always just kind of a pipe dream. Of <laughs> <laughs> ah, I see. Hmm. Weird how you said it that way, but okay. I, uh... That was haunting. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Interesting dialect, I suppose. Hmm. All right, then. Well, I guess we can when, figure it out. Oh, yeah, go on. When the evening comes around, Slime will bring up. Uh, and I suggest Blade Runner 2049. What does that mean? <laughs> what is the Blade Runner? I, don't know, I just thought it would be a for? cool name. Am I still holding? I like shake my <laughs> paw and I'm like, what? And I stand up and I walk away. <laughs> is this is this your journey? <laughs> How many yep. hands can I hold? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Uh, well, we can figure it out while we're making it. We've got plenty of time, right? Until we all die tonight. <laughs> what? <laughs> tonight. What? Tonight. 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 Why are you tonight? Why are we dying tonight? What? I mean, at least we're gonna go scope out that uh, mysterious off-grid pharmacy. Oh, I don't need to hear this. And you'll just kind of see Hero walk away. <laughs> He's just like, nope, nope, <laughs> don't. We are going to scope out that mysterious off-the-grid pharmacy, though, right? Yep. 
Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I would also at this point show everyone else in the group the evidence. Well, whatever it is I found at the okay. uh, tavern. And also, I guess, reveal that we went to the tavern. <laughs> I found these while I was rummaging through garbage at the old cobalt. What is that? <laughs> yeah, it's like how does fucking Trask respond? It looks like over here on like a fucking scaffolding, like working away and <laughs> what? Huh? I believe they relate to my predecessor. Didn't it seem a little not a good idea to go back there? Yeah, but consider this. We did find some scraps of like uh, the guy that blew up, the guy that you guys were talking to, the corpo guy, the one that blew up. We found like bits of him. That's cool. That's Isn't gross. It? <laughs> How does that help us? Does anyone know. have any attachment to the word tapur? Huh? Well, uh, so I was gonna pull out the, the letter, like the shards of the letter. Uh, He's gonna point it towards Zug. I, Brett, do I know anything? As you look at the letter, you realize it's in your writing. Oh. You wrote right. on a scrap of paper that your contact was Talon for the propulsion oh. shard. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I remember this. What is it? Just a little note to remind me. <laughs> Remind you of what? <laughs> well, I was meeting with you, not you. My predecessor. Your predecessor. And, um, I was going to get a propulsion shard, and then he died. Remember? Mm. Well, you don't remember. But I looked at the rest I of I don't you. remember. Another neat little thing we found while we were digging through the trash uh, is uh, we found like a scrap of his shirt, but under that we also found a scrap of what might have been his lab coat. Slime. Uh, suggests. Give me a. Sorry to interrupt. Please give me a no wisdom worries, saving no throw. No worries. A wisdom save. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, saves wisdom. Ah, perfect. Uh, so, as you hear the the, 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 the phrase propulsion shard, um, a memory pings <gasps> in your in your cortex. Uh, do you accept the call? <laughs> the vision. I I accept the vision. All right. Um. So as you hear propulsion shard, you once again see, uh, the face of Talon. As like a as like a flash as like a memory of this right um you see the uh you see the face of talon and hold on one second i need to go ahead and get yes this works so once again you see the face of talon as you've dreamed before and then you realize you're not looking at talon you're looking at a reflection Specifically that of a glass vial. In your hand, a, what appears to be a jagged glass, like a shard. And as you're looking around to what appears to be a very s sterile office, you immediately go over to a, uh, a steel drum. You open it and you throw the shard in there. And then with a flash of light, the memory fades. Hey gang, yeah. I had another one of those flashing sequence of images that some of you experience. I, thought. I believe it felt like a dream, but I was awake this time. Yo, your thousand yard stairs looking like extra thousand yardsy. What's up, buddy? I saw another vision of my predecessor, and I believe I know where that propulsion shard you keep asking about might be. Where? It's in a steel drum somewhere. Oh. Shit. 
And Felsa goes and starts going through the metal barrel. <laughs> <laughs> Specifically in an office. Oh. Okay. Uh, where one may wear a lab coat. Yeah, so if we backtrack super quick, we did find a scrap of a lab coat, which to me personally suggests that he would have possibly worn a lab coat. Uh, I feel like this is all related to Redacted. I pull out a map. Uh, map of, of what? Of Clayberry. It is That's great that every public map of Clayberry has the like secret base label <laughs> as redacted. <laughs> hey, Dutz. Huh? Hey. You, uh, you still got it on that, uh, that deal? He looks around a little bit. What, what, what deal? Come down here. Huh? Come closer. He looks over to the four, seeking guidance. What? What's happening? Are they going to say anything? <laughs> I don't think my character notices. I think he's like laser focused on what he was just talking about. Yeah. Like, I mean, I, I'm thinking about you that, are a fucking about enigma. Ship. I just not <laughs> concerning myself with your new arc. Yeah, people could just have their conversations, you know? Probably just wants to hold your hand. No, 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 no. You know that thing you told me earlier? What? The thing. What? What thing did I tell you? You said something about scratches. <laughs> he looks around. He's like... Oh, like nods. Oh, right. I, I apologize. It That was extremely rude of me. I thought you were... Uh, a pet, and I realize that's absolutely rude now that I know that you are not that, so I, uh... Yes, yes. Yeah, no. I'm, I'm sorry about that. I don't know who you are, but no. I... Hi, I'm Hero. I want you... He offers a hand. Ugh, what is that? Don't, I don't want that. Do you see this ear? And I, like, point at one of my ears. Yeah? I need you to scratch it. Um... Oh, man. Well, I would, uh, but I think uh, Zug, and he nods over. I think Zug uh, needs me for something. Hey, Zug, Woo! what's up? <laughs> I have a map on a table that's like currently covering the blueprints. I'm like just analyzing. Looking ah, at yes, the map of Clayberry, he says in a panic as he then looks over at the map. <laughs> yeah. On Bo, the yeah. Table. Bo jumps, he jumps on the map. Whoop. And he looks at Hero, and he points at his ear. What What are you doing? Dude, dude I don't know what to tell you. Just scratch your ear, man. I decided I'm just, I, I'm not gonna touch it. Hey, why don't anyone use tootsies like me? Hey, I just wanted to scratch on the ear, huh? Yeah, huh? You can, but you can just, and then you'll just kind of see him raise his hand up and then scratch his own ear. You can do that. It's true. You guys know what it feels like for someone else to scratch your ears, especially when they got fuzzies on them? I mean, yeah, I mean, I could, he kind of blushes a little bit, you know, once or twice. Come here. Hey, hey, Don't hey. like reaches out to his ears. Hey, no, 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 no. I'm, uh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm a sensitive touch. Don't, don't, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Help! Help! <laughs> he screams as like as Bo's trying to get trying to reach out to the ear. He's like pushing it, it back. Like I I I don't understand what's going on. Belsick. Huh? What? You tell me. I scratch your ears. You scratch mine. You tell them what it feels like, eh? Uh. Now don't you go real. saying no to me too. <laughs> what, right. What? So, hey, hey you know, what do you know about Xeon Corporation operations oh, yes, in this yes, area? Uh, yes, uh, this is a this? meeting, Bo. Sit. Oh. I'll scratch your ears, okay? Just pay attention. Okay. She scratches his ears. Hero, 
Kiro kind of looks over to Zug like, what's up with this guy? Zug shrug. Okay. Zug shrug. So then he looks over and he goes, wait, why do you have a map of Clayberry out? I'm just trying to piece things together about a lot of things that I just don't understand. I'll ask you, what, what do you know about Xeon Corporation, like dealings in, in this area? And he'll put his hand on the, or his finger on the northern area where they know something is because they raided the offices before. Right. And they have a key card, key card to that. Yeah. Like hidden pharmaceutical area. Oh yeah, this is an old map. Uh, so, so this is, and he kind of points to the redacted area. And if I remember correctly, so the original, originally this was just another scrap yard. Uh, but then, Xeon, which has been purchasing everything, uh, purchased that area. Um, but since it wasn't actually classified with the city and it was no longer a scrapyard, uh, the Cartographer's Guild thought it was just a good idea to label it redacted and then release the maps that way. And uh, like everything in Clay Clayberry, it, it was kind of half-assed. Uh, so uh, to answer your question, I don't know much about this area. I just know that Xeon owns it. Which means, uh, Xeon probably doesn't want any non-employees to get over there. Mm. Well, awfully uh, so nifty questions. that we have an employee key card. Wait, where did we get the key card? We stole it. <laughs> and he goes, well, when did uh, that happen? Like everything we own. At, yeah, <laughs> you'll kind of see. Yeah, you'll kind of see Hero just kind of be like, um, <laughs> what? They had it common. I, r right, but so you have a key card. I don't want to know where you got that. And you're saying that's to the northern side? Yeah, yeah I mean, I think so, yeah. I think so, yeah. Uh, and he kind of like puts his hand on his hand. So it's, he's like, so what, what's the plan with the key card? Are you going to like pawn it off on someone? It probably worth, uh, it's, no. it's like, it's probably worth a certain number of credits depending on who decides to buy it. He scratches his chin a little bit. There is also oh, a high likelihood that beyond the place where that key card opens, there may be a propulsion shard. Mm. What? Why, why do you think that? My predecessor may or may not have hidden one inside of a metal drum. It's like an instinct thing, honestly, at this point. Like I personally, I don't know about the rest of you guys, but I feel like that might be his birthplace. Like, come on, it's a, the metal it's a, a secret, like a, a pharmacy laboratory in this city. Like, come on, like obviously. That's what I was thinking. So uh, you were the plan is hero. hero. I realize this is super dangerous. So you don't need to come with us, uh, but we are gonna go scope out the place later tonight. Oh yeah. my! Um, I'm on the go. Yeah, I think I'll pass on that because that sounds really dangerous. And I think, hey, buddy, you, that's all right. And I think you guys should probably consider that as well. I mean, Xeon Corporation is literally the richest group of people in town. They're able to buy out sections of Clayberry. Uh, they supersede the government of this place, it seems like. I bet they could still take punches. I mean, uh, yeah, but, uh, but they're the they're the big dogs in town. That place is probably heavily fortified as well. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. I, I mean, you're free to do what you want. Uh, and he looks over at the ship and looks over at you guys. He's like, but I would just be fucking careful if you're doing that like uh no bears ah, is that, is that what you mean? yeah probably no bears yeah probably okay. no bears at least until we're inside oh i mean if you're just going if you're just charging the front gates i mean you're gonna be gunned down in a heartbeat you're probably what? gonna want to do that at the a little a little smart little smart a little stealthy. Yeah, why don't we why don't we do a little bit of a stealth situation? We scope the place out very carefully, like no rolling around and stuff. You know what I mean? Who does that? Yeah, I know what you mean. 
Any... So out, outside of Bo, is this, are we going to, to do this so we can understand where slime came from? And also because there might shard. be a propulsion shard there. Also, also to find out more about this fucking company. And just yeah. generally okay. heist them. And yeah, we have too. yeah a key card that we gotta use somehow. <laughs> yeah, and, and this that. place has wanted it like actively has bounties on all of you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, so if we are we like checking this place out or are we like getting rid of it? Are we blowing it up because they have <laughs> like like what's the now that I wouldn't mind. Like? Now hold on a minute. I like that idea. Yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a oh. minute. I would love to blow this place. Up. I have a good idea. Oh my yeah. God. <laughs> Okay, okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, wait. Let me take this opportunity. <clears throat> hey, Tootsies and Tootsies. Now, what would you say if we went inside and we scoped it out and uh, then we blew it up? Oh, I fucking love your sense of irony. <sighs> but why? And how? But I agree with the one that said that's that last thing right there. And how? Wow, what's that stuff in the air? I, I, I think I heard something, but maybe nothing at all. Anyway, about blowing stuff up. Uh, he looks uh, I can probably can make a small, check? I can probably make a small bomb. <laughs> I mean, wait, 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 wait. This place, we think it made slime out. What if there's more of them? Slime blew up that tavern, one of him. Wait, like activate another one somehow? I think we don't know nearly enough to want to blow anything up. <laughs> okay, you're right. Maybe no, I'm a little too excited. I've had a couple of looks inside of that place through my uh, visions, and it didn't look very blow upable. To Hero, be frank, Hero also just kind of like scratches the back of his head, and he's like, "If you're planning on committing, you know." Uh, 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 if you're gonna explode a facility of Xeon, you're gonna want an escape route because you're gonna be wanted all throughout this town. I That's why we're gonna finish the ship uh, first. Yeah, we're just scoping we're out tonight. We're not gonna blow anything up, which again, mm. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, definitely going to want escape route. Slaps whole of ship. Yeah, it'd probably be best to get that ship done first before we do any uh, <laughs> crazy hijinks, like exploding uh, a facility by Xeon Corporation, who I'm pretty sure has their fingers in just about everything. Okay, so maybe we send small group to investigate the exterior, and then me and Hero keep working on ship for like a week because it's gonna take a while. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. I mean, I can definitely while. do investigation the exact same way I did it last time. Although a propulsion shard would is, would allow this ship to actually be able to handle. Oh, jeez. Do we even have any weapons for this thing? I thought um, you just poked your hands out. The I have an ax. I, yeah, I got a little daggers. bit of an idea for that, but no. <laughs> That sucks just like, I mean, we could risk it, but if anyone tries to hijack the ship or, you know, the prots go after us and we have no way to defend ourselves, we're getting shot off this arc and going to be stranded in space before we even make it intercontinental. Yeah, we can reconsider doing an actual terrorist attack, but we do need to scope it out tonight. I mean, yeah, I'd scope. Yeah, we take a look around. At the very least. I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with scoping if you guys know how to be subtle. And then he kind of like moves his hand like from side to side, like, like, a, hey. Like if you're subtle about it. Hey, subtle's my middle name. <laughs> Hero looks at you with this like, <laughs> is it though? It is. It is. I, I just didn't tell you guys yet, but yeah, my oh. name is a uh, Bo Subtle Regard. Regard. Mm. Yep. That's it. Interesting. B-S-R. Yep. Right. Right. Okay. Well, I imagine we're going at night, so let's get some more work done today. 
We're, we're going to start assembling these panels because I know that takes a fucking long time. All right. So you've got a total of 46 panels uh, for two hours a pop. Uh, no checks are required for this as it's just going to be flat time. Meaning, now that you put just for the layout itself, uh, is this your final layout that you're doing? Something like this? Something like this, yeah. Yeah, I mean, with with some ra rounded edges and some corners and et cetera, Rounded et cetera. edges, sort of a trapezoid roof for the, the back part. It's, yeah. it's got a whole design going on, but right. for basic, basic, yeah. For the basic perfect. layout. Okay, perfect. For uh, size so, purposes. So this is going to be uh, a 92-hour project. Ooh. Yeah, it's like a full-time fucking job, guys. <laughs> boy, oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, oh boy. Which means uh, if you spend the usual eight hours a day that you would, uh, you're looking at about 11 and a half days before you actually will have the layout of the ship uh, complete. Holy shit. All you're, right. You are building a ship. Mm -hmm. you now, the good... get like part time jobs. For yeah, we got to find something to do in the meantime. <laughs> yeah. Uh, meanwhile, um, if Hero's helping, which he will be. Uh, you are looking at by two. Uh, that actually shrinks you down to six days of uh. Of yeah, <laughs> okay. pretty big deal. Yep, yep. The more people you get, the more that it'll take some time. Uh, so if you want to spend the day working on the ship, you can. Uh, and then the evening hours, you still have another eight hours before you have to get sleep, essentially. Yeah, sounds like a good plan. All right, so you spend the day working on the ship. Uh, and so what did I say before? So if it's, uh, let's see, 46 times 2, 92. Uh, that's another 16 hours done. Um, so you got 76 hours remaining. And the eve, is there anyone doing anything during the day hours, uh, by the way? Uh, I'm not. Okay. Um, I think so, I'll probably just do my casual when the when the night stuff. comes around. Mm -hmm. Slime and would definitely investigate redacted whether people want to join. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yes. yeah, I'll go. I'll do that. So you'll uh, you'll go ahead and see after a long day of work of just starting to weld the layout and putting things together. Hero's just gonna wipe the sweat off his brow. And he's like, I am going to bed. Uh, he looks around to everyone, uh, giving back pats to whoever wants it. He says, uh, good work today, everyone. Uh, whatever you guys do, <laughs> I don't want to know about it. But, you know, uh, whatever you do, maybe do it subtly. You maybe do it uh, quietly. And uh, probably want to make sure you're not followed when you come back. Don't worry. We will probably see you in the morning. I hope so. Otherwise... I'm shit out of luck. And then he'll get into a sleep bag and start to, <laughs> start to go to bed. Hey, I have a question for, uh, I guess, Lawman, your actual items on Zug. Yeah. Is your, like, dark vision goggles able to see through magical darkness or no? No, I don't think so. Mm, I, I'll yeah. double double my check. Only, my only group stealth option is blinding to everyone but me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just hold on to a rope. Uh, okay. So. Sweet. Mm. I think. I think at some point I can make another. Uh, wonder item. Let me see. Oh, nope. Okay. Never mind. Uh huh. All right, you guys leave the Zug yard. What's the, uh, what's the plan? You guys sneaking over to the, uh, um, to the redacted area? I would yes. love yes, to. Yes, we'll sneak over to the outskirts of redacted. Okay. Then, ba ba ba, take a look here. Boop. All right. The evening hours approach as you guys begin to patrol the streets as you would normally do. Until you finally arrive at the uh, the redacted site. Um, as you arrive over at this area, you see a shard stone is uh, actually keeping everything uh, powered up over in the high dredges. There, uh, you see 
Um, a couple of Xeon prots uh, that are keeping the area secure. Uh, getting through this area, navigating around so that the prots don't notice, um, is easy enough. Uh, it would require uh, a stealth check from one of you. Um, but uh, whoever you decide, it will be a secret roll. Is there something that I could do before we attempt that stealth check that might make it a little bit easier to get around them? Uh, what uh, what idea do you have? I Very simple. Minor illusion, like something clattering opposite of us, like opposite direction from where so, we're going. That so would lead do it to like the person to turn their back from us while we pass by. All right, so you're doing some minor illusions. Oh, that'll lower your DC a little bit. Um, so yes, but I need uh, you to choose who is your group stealther who's going to guide you through the area. Hey, who's stealthy? I have a Sneaky. whopping plus one to stealth. I me have too. a whopping plus two. Look at that. Wait, how do we yeah. check? Wait, hold on, hold on. Uh, open up your D&D Beyond character sheet. I can, we can do the darkness thing early, but it's just like, it's not, it's better for me and like one person <laughs> than me and a whole group that is now blinded. Hey, the worst thing that can crazy? happen is we just murder another prot. Yeah, what's one or two more prots added to the pile? What's one or two right. more? <laughs> What, can I, is it like, can we do this? If I turn into rat mode, but I cannot communicate, does that help at all? If they like know it's me and then they follow me because I'm small and can't be seen, like, can that help at all in this situation? Uh, I mean, I mean, you'd be stealthier. You'd be fine, but the rest of the party following you would still have to require a stealth check. <laughs> but I mean, it's still better than all of us getting caught if you mm -hmm. were that. If, if, if the party's okay with it, can I try that? Like, genuinely trying to be helpful and not fuck about <laughs> this time? Uh, yeah, so you want to, to tr transform into a, uh, into a, uh, a rat? Yeah. Absolutely. All right, give me one second. And be sure that they see me so that they know it's me and pay attention with what I try to tell them. Okay. Roll show. my perception check. <laughs> I'm gonna eat the no, rat. <laughs> okay. Uh, Bo's gonna turn into a rat. So let me go ahead and oh, hold on. This will be a, a, a tiny little little guy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and and do this. Woohoo! All right. Uh, so Bo. You're gonna scurry mm. off into the redacted junkyard as you begin roaming around like the other rats, um, with other rats that might be scrambling around the area. Um, the uh, you'll take immediately take notice, especially if you start sniffing around uh, between the guards. Uh, no one seems to. Uh, yeah, uh, no, uh, you just you're just a rat in a junkyard. So as you scramble about, uh, you are free to roam around the area as a as a as a rat. What are you doing slash what are you looking for? Um, am I allowed to con consult the party even though I'm not there? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The above, above board conversation is always allowed. Mm -hmm. Okay. What should I be looking for and what, like, what are the things we're keeping an eye on? Um, probably safe passage. Yeah, we're looking uh, for like our the, way through. The roots of the guards to see if, like, you know, they turn down a certain alley or whatever. Because you can get a lot closer to them and look at them since you're a little ratto. Okay. And 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 where are we at again? Are we near like an entrance, the back? Where did we say we were? Uh, you would be like outside the uh, the high dredges, like okay. over where the actual area is gated. And currently, you okay. are scrambling inside the uh, the re the restricted area. Okay. So I, I think I'll just be like looking around and seeing if there's any places that the guards are not, that they can kind of like get in through. Okay. If there's a way to open a place to get through or okay. break through. So um, I would say after an hour's worth of time, you kind of get the, uh, the guard patrols down or at least a rough estimate of it. Um, and if you wish to, uh, once you return, 
Um, breaking in is easy. It's just keeping yourself not spotted. It makes it a little more difficult. Um, mm-hmm. If that is what you do, you'd return back for an hour, uh, and you'd be able to inform your party of uh, the typical patrol routes. The DC, the stealth DC, is uh, further reduced. Okay, nice. All right, who wants to make the roll? Because I got a plus two, and I think that's the <laughs> highest we have. I think that's our best. You got it. Uh, all right. Right. Just, just me? <laughs> uh, just, just FYI, I will be doing the roll for you, and it will be a private <laughs> roll. Okay, private roll. All right. Great. Felsic is like, hey, guys, follow me. And she starts to do, like, parkour, like, sneaky parkour, though. All right. Let's see how your party stealth goes. Like I said, mm-hmm. you've had the DC reduced uh, uh, by two factors. Uh, one, uh, knowing the patrol route, the route of, the, uh, of this, and your minor illusion, uh, which is to keep guards distracted as you're going further into the area. So here we go. All right. The roll has been made. Do you commence with the inve- with the with the stealthy investigation? Commence the sneak. Okay. Uh, so you guys, you guys will begin to cl- go around through the area. Is there a particular area that you're trying to get to? We're following those directions to the, uh, the place, right? From the desk. Okay. I mean, we may want to find like a vantage point over. Yeah, true. Like we don't want, we may not want to like just turn a corner to the door, especially if it was right. established that it may be heavily armed. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. So after about, mm, half hour of making sure you're extra cautious uh you're able to keep the guards away from you and you do you do not rouse suspicion oh hell yeah oh awesome you all will get outside to where the instructions give you over to the furnace and as you uh either from an advantage point or however you'd like to scout it out uh you will notice the furnace itself uh it's it's a set of furnaces uh, that are uh, large and peeking through the high dredges. Um, upon further investigation, uh, you will notice that there is a small, sort almost like computer panel uh, next to one of the furnaces. You will also make note that while a majority of the furnaces have this sort of like smooth curve to it, uh, the one in question uh, has a little bit of a uh, inscription engraving uh, where a door can be. You would figure and assume that by placing the key card in, the furnace opens up to a lift, an elevator. But one thing is for cer- certain, it would more than likely take you underground. Oh. But because of your scouting, uh, you were able to figure out where this furnace is, uh, but more importantly, uh, you feel confident that you would be able to get back here again when you are ready without rousing suspicion from the guards. As yeah, long as no that. outside conditions change. So, for example, let's say you just randomly blow up a building in this area and they up the guards, then you're going to have to <laughs> once again learn everything. But if nothing has changed at this point, uh, you are free to return here at any time, in, in the evening hours preferably, uh, to arrive at the furnace there. But where it'll take you is unknown. The danger here is if you have to take a lift or an elevator to send down, you don't know where it'll take you. It might take you to a secured area. It might take you to an empty hallway. You don't know. You'll have to prepare for all these circumstances before descending Does down it further. seem like looking at the, like, terminal where we would put this key card in that it would like log us putting the key card in on like a server or something like that That would be unknown um with with your knowledge at hand because there's one thing i could do like above board as a final scouting thing which is if there's like any because most elevators have surface hatches and stuff like that Mm -hmm. a character like me could squeeze above into the shirt like the surface hatch be li- dropped down the elevator and then carefully oh, sort of shit. periscope into the room at the very least and then go back up. Ah, that's sneaky. Mm. You're a sneaky little guy. But if it's going to log our visit, 
with that card then unfortunately you have no idea of the inner workings of the systems also unfortunately as you look at the engraving it is not necessarily an engraving with a crack so you will have to use the card if you are trying to go through the, the that door and unless you have a, a different idea uh, you will I, have to use the card to open it up i was assuming it'd be we'd use the card to open it Right. But when we sent the elevator down, if the elevator opened at the bottom, everyone would just see an empty elevator because I would be right, 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 right. Like yeah. Above yeah, the yeah, elevator. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah, like I'm below it, like in the space between the elevator. I gotcha. And like, you know, the shaft. Yeah, I gotcha. I just want to make sure that the information was known before you try anything. Excellent. I think we, uh. Hey, all right. Think, don't think we're going in today, fellas. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, at least we, yeah, we got some the... room to strategize. Okay, so y'all will be returning back to the Zug Yard. Yeah. Yep. All right. Uh, successful expedition. Uh, you've gained a scope and a general idea of the high dredges. It is uh, guarded by Prots um, that you can assume is under Zeon's uh, pocket, uh, since there is a Zeon operation underneath there. Um, but yeah, you all will return over to the Zug Yard. Uh, where you will take the chance to long rest once again before working on the ship further. So what is the plan for the next session? Are you attempting to go down to investigate further of what may be down there? Or is there something else you'll be trying alongside, of course, building the ship? I wouldn't want to go down there until the ship's done. Yeah, I think we're, I think we're I think, ready and, and willing to get down there, but we just need to do like a time skip of like. Yeah, yeah. I think we time yeah. skip finishing like the ship, the ship? with like the yeah, amount of rolls that we have to do to like. Excellent. Just mm -hmm. do that, get that out of the way, and come into the next session like, all right, yeah. this part's done. Yeah, Sounds unless good. there's something Let's really go. interesting we decide to get into. All right, yeah. so yeah. I, I, I feel like we're ready to get right. mm -hmm. Yeah, me uh, and Felsic build a gym for the next five days. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So uh, just to reiterate, uh, you guys will be continuing work on the ship. You won't be doing anything else um, outside of the ship um, while the, sh the ship is being put together and built, correct? I don't think so, unless anyone wants to do just menial yeah, I don't really have stuff. any other ideas. Like, if, if we can think of, like, we need this tool. Like, say we, yeah. we need a crowbar, or say we need... Like just keep in mind okay. things that would be helpful, but probably nothing okay. more than shopping. I, mean, I have you. only I have only one thing I could, I like technically do, mm -hmm. and it would only really matter if we got anywhere near like any kind of. It, it depends on how much. I guess I'd want to do a roll for it to see if my character has over the course of this gathered any kind of interest in finances or like curiosity and currency or anything like that. Okay. Because okay. he does have the context that his predecessor did have at least some form of property. Yeah. Like of the person they've, you know. Would you like to do that role? Snatched. Would you like to do that role now? Well, yeah. What would that be to like actually see how interested my character is in like looking I, into the. I genuinely don't know. I think that's something that I would leave up to let's, your discretion. Let's do it. This is an investigation if he's going to be a flat intelligence role. Okay. On a 11 and up, my character is interested in researching more about like his his predecessors possible because everyone else has like you know mm -hmm. things they own i'm gonna see if my character would be interested in looking into that more since he has a name okay at least like a, a basic name of theirs Sounds 11 good. and up he does that he has <laughs> zero interest okay oh wow okay i take <laughs> what i want <laughs> <laughs> okay well, um, and of course, if there's anything that you guys like to do uh, during the time of the ship's construction, you are free to do that. Um, and you're free to let me know. But otherwise, uh, the next session, uh, six days will pass uh, as far as the general uh, shape and construction uh, of the ship. Your uh, ship will have a working engine, a uh, working power supply, a working food replicator, and the very, very basics of propulsion. Um, thing. So your ship will be able to do the following. Fly in a line or slight curve, so you'll actually need a projection of where you need to, where you'd want to go. Um, and that's that. If you'd like to continue to expand uh, upon that, aka give the ship 
weapons or anything of that nature um, that will require further checks. Um, but as far as your currency and everything's tied up, I think the only one in your party that actually has some money to get you those weapons that you need um, would probably be... Yeah, you'd have to go to Felsic. Felsic, again. Yeah, I, I got you. 3,900. Uh, yeah, you can buy. Uh, so, uh, depending on what you'd like to buy, you can buy the most basic of weapons. Uh, you could also buy um, actual higher tier weapons that will defend against, you know. Like, the basic tier weapons is more of like a deterrent of like any flying creatures that may decide to attack your ship. Um, while the higher tier up will actually be able to give you some um, combat capabilities. The only problem is without an actual proper propulsion system, uh, you'll be taking hits as well and not really super able to dodge um, without a proper propulsion system. So yeah, those are some things to think about. Uh, but for now, uh, what we'll say, unless you guys change your mind during that, uh, six days will pass. And then you should have the most basics of a ship ready to go at that point. Uh, uh, one more thing. No. Yes. I'm scared. What if they I'd, chase us on the way out? <laughs> I'd like to ask Kiro, our resident purchaser or yes. guy who goes to market, yes. if there's any way he could purchase me some more durable leather armor, specifically above board, something studded. Uh, gotcha. Oh. So I have a little bit more protection. Oh. He, goes, I am... he, he goes, well, I, I know someone that's pretty good with the uh, with shard weave. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure we could do that. Should be cheap enough, I'd imagine. All right. I have no money. Ah, he'll look to Zug. Hey, oh. I have no money. I can also see if I could try to put something. I'm kind of learning to make stuff. Yeah. Mm, you have to try. In that, in that case, uh, next time, we'll have Drask attempt to make some armor for the first time. <laughs> oh, boy. Ooh. But that, this is nice. But that will wrap up today's session of Pipe Dreamers. Thank you guys so much for playing. Ooh. Good sesh. Ooh. You guys enjoy yourself today? Yeah. Yes. It's nice to be back, man. All right. Yeah, good time. Okay. Then I think we got some uh, some fan art. Oh, let's go, let's go. We got some. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Awoo, awoo. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna do this one. Uh, I'm gonna make sure. I'm gonna check here. I'm gonna do this. Nope. I'm gonna do this. Yep. Yepers. Uh, all right. So first piece of fan art we're gonna check Aww. out. Um, He's our boy hero, uh, drawn He's so by cute. Mango Juice. I want to punch him. <laughs> <laughs> I want to permanently no mark that, that boy. More alarming than Bo <laughs> wanting to hold hands. Like, <laughs> what? Well, that's that's because that's because Felsic asks before she punches. Yeah. She goes, "Hey, can yeah. I punch you?" Know? I was yeah. awakening yeah. something in him. Oh, and absolutely. I did. Absolutely. She goes, hey, let's fight. <sighs> hey, I want to punch you. And then, mm -hmm. uh, and then, yeah. And they go, oh, sure. Let's do a fight. Or, no, thank you. And then Felsic goes, all right. And then moves on with her life. All right. Oh, we got a 3D right. model? Yeah, we got a 3D model. Cool. The, yeah. Cool. That's a very interesting interpretation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Looks like a boat. Mm -hmm. We need a gun on this ship, huh? You don't want a Gatling gun so bad. <laughs> Figure out the gun. Oh, hey. that's so cool. Hey, yo. Let's Salty. Go. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Uh, oh, this damn. Let's take a look at this fine oh. boy. Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, I uh, uh, Dutch. <laughs> Dutch, I appreciate it. <laughs> I think you, you posted an AVI video file. Uh, sadly, uh, there's nothing I can do with that uh, currently in the fan art time. So if you would like to, by next week, uh, turn that into like an MP4, uh, that would be awesome. So I'm sorry I can't play your AVI, but that's something to be I'm looking forward to. So thank you. Uh, hey, yo. <gasps> look at this. You hold me. I hold him like hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Oh. God, he's so hot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Pretty hot. All right, all right. Look at these oh, fine cute. fellows. Hey. I love this. Look at us. Hey. Cute as hell. <gasps> oh, 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 my Tim. I love it. Res respect yeah, the drip, the drip. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely so dripped out. Oh, look at these fine. Well, those That's are cool. cool. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. Um, so I was showing uh, Lawman this, but uh, I, this is what I think we decided <gasps> what, yes! the, what the Mach Two, like oh! what the what the ship could become yeah. in the future. Fuck, this, is, this is the Mark Two looking ass. Like, like this is this. We need some money for this, but this it looks is sick. space ready. But look at this. Oh, Zog yeah, is baby. here. This artwork. <laughs> what the hell? Is, that is respectfully, of course, but yeah. Oh, look you can at see that. God, it's so pretty. It's so, it's so good. Something really to look forward it. to. I mean, it's going to be a while before you get there, but something to look forward to. We've once got this, a, a once fast this go kart right now. Yeah, I'll say <laughs> once, this looks yeah. Once, the, once the campaign turns into an actual like Outlaw Star or Cowboy Bebop, that's the shit, baby. That's the oh. shit. Yes. Top. It's like an iron the top. Mm hmm. Oh, oh, look at that. Yeah, look at that. Oh, oh gang. And Felsic's up there, and everyone's here, and there's slime right on. Oh, so she's good. She's looking oh down the God. gun where she's most comfortable. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is my jam. Turn it up, Bo. Uh, and then it's a, it's a dance party. Look. Hell yeah. That's awesome. The gang's grooving. Man. <laughs> I I don't know why it makes me slightly Dude. emotional, but all the art of the uh, of this, ooh, very good. Oh, baby. Nice. All the arts of the ship, very good. Ah, I see. Uh, Dutch actually converted it into an FP4. Thank you so much, Dutch. Oh, now, now I can play it. Let's oh. take a look. Oh, wow, oh. 3D tour. Oh. We're going on a tour, baby. Oh. We're going on a tour. Oh. Very cool. Oh my gosh. Oh, cool, there's man. more. There's more. We're, we're, we're going in. We're oh. going. Sick. We're going we're on a tour. We're getting 3D ship tours of our ship. This is so cool. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this reminds me a lot of like a, a phase two airship. Yeah. Yeah, I, it is. It kind of is like a phase two airship. You're absolutely correct. I like it though. So this is it's... like the prototypes. Yeah. No, this yeah. is sick. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, let's see what we got here. Oh. <gasps> Jesus. Is this what you wanted? What? Smells good. What? <laughs> Can I yeah. I didn't consent to this. I think you did. I think that was a couple sessions ago. Are mm -hmm. you Is Tomato still here? Wake up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you just say wake up? Oh my god. I'm Isn't here. Sad? I just god, look at his big old he teeth. That's have, terrifying. Doesn't have a response. I have no I response. Me neither. Hey, anyone seen Bo? <laughs> right on. <gasps> right on. Dissolved. <laughs> Digested. This is this. Yeah. You get what you deserve. Is this what you want? <laughs> <laughs> he did warn you. <laughs> I had to do it to him. Yeah. Roar, I am a normal human. Yes. Aww. What? <laughs> That's that's you. That's you. Whenever you try and talk, you're going. Rawr, <laughs> rawr, rawr, rawr. Audi. This is so cool. New fan Wait, artist, the... by the way. New Whoa. fan artist, by the way. Thank you so much, Stuffles. What's that yeah, thing in your head? Shit. Tomato. That's a tomato. Oh. Mm. Yeah. I love this style. That's clever. Uh, purple slam. <laughs> <laughs> it's the gang. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. Very good. Very like good. Man. <laughs> Very like good. We gotta, we gotta call the ship the mystery machine. <laughs> <laughs> Tur uh, this is labeled turret dog, and that's pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. Oh, yeah, we oh, do have a turret, turret dog. dog now. Okay, Wait, what? Uh, that is fucking sick, but also <laughs> way cooler than I can make right now. <laughs> Howdy, is there something wrong? <laughs> I like the goop stuck to your hat. Ugh. Oh, it's a slimy, slimy boy. <gasps> Pet? Okay, that never happened, but it, I still like it. It's fan art. We can pine How for come it? you guys want to touch my ears? You said uh, you were going to give me scratches, DM. 
Um, I don't ask. I'm a moderator. That's not me. <laughs> we get to go to be like that. Uh, oh, very good. Very good. Uh, this is a viewer's interpretation. New D and D stream. Let's see how they like uh, heroes art. <laughs> what the? What the? <laughs> Yeah. Whoa. Hey. Uh, tire. <laughs> yeah. It's very good. It's very good. All right, gang. That ends today's fan art session. I almost Woo. left. I almost left the call. All right. So, <laughs> uh, we will be back next Thursday, where you will have a uh, basic ship that's ready to go, uh, and you guys. Let's fucking go. And then you Let's guys. Go. Exciting guys. And then you guys will be checking out the. Uh, um, the redacted site one last time before you peace out of Clayberry. Hopefully. Ideally, with the propulsion charter, it's going to be a really bummer escape. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, 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 well, here's the thing. Once you get the propulsion shard, you still have to build, you know, the propulsion system. Yeah. And that's another day or two. So you may be doing like a quick hop and then maybe some more we work have to put elsewhere. Along exactly. Miles out. Exactly. Um, I gave you guys the map um, a while back. Was there a particular? Was it pinned anywhere? Uh, it's yeah. I'll, I'll pin it. I'll pin it. Um, you guys don't have to answer, but start thinking where oh, you I see guys. Oh, pinned. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, start thinking where you guys are going to be going because that will be your uh, second season adventure because we are right into that middle part. What's oh. that big glowing <laughs> part? Let's go oh. into that. Ah, that's the there. That's the core of Io. Nothing survives. What kind in the of core. cool stuff is there? Uh death. Yeah, yet. Nothing survives yet. Nothing survives yet. That is I correct. I make a pretty good ship. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, mm -hmm. something that you guys think about of where you'll be uh, retreating off to. You currently are in the con uh, in the arc of Kathos, uh, but there are plenty I mean, of other options. Also yeah we don't even need to leave kathos necessarily we're trying to no, get out don't. of clayberry for now find some parts and then surf the fucking stars man yeah mm. you absolutely do not have to leave uh kathos if you'd like to still stay in that in that uh that 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 rural urban um landscape absolutely all right guys uh something to think about but otherwise i will see you all next week Bye guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 All right, gang. And that wraps up today's session. Did y'all have fun today? I hope so. I really, really hope so. Hey, guys. Uh, we have a Patreon if you'd like to support the world of IO. Uh, I've got three encounters I'm going to be uploading this month for our Game Master tier, and we are continuing to upload music that's being worked on and composed. Uh, by our 10 and $20 tiers. And of course, the $5 tier is where you can listen uh, to all of the IO, uh, uh, IO games uh, in MP3 format, which is pretty awesome. You could also become a $3 Patreon. Um, if that's all you can afford, that is totally fine. Any support is great. Uh, we're currently expanding our art uh, team to build some really cool shit for you guys uh hoping to go again outside of uh io based uh stuff uh so that you guys have some content uh for your own personal D, &D game phase three has been a constant bangers it has been i really love phase three phase three is such a i had fun with phase two but i knew phase three was gonna like i wanted a new beginning you know what i mean and it was it was great it was absolutely it was absolutely awesome it's absolutely been awesome uh so thank you for your support and everything that's going on there uh we are wrapping up a sponsorship we've had for the past uh i don't know past few weeks and that's every plate uh if you guys want to go ahead and support uh in this way and you're looking for a meal kit uh every plate you can try for a dollar 79 a meal it's pretty awesome if you're looking to learn how to cook or anything like that or you're just looking to save some money 
and you're here in the States, I'd recommend giving every plate a go. This has been a really neat fucking sponsor. We cooked a couple of things. It tasted really good. And I learned a couple of couple of cooking things. Uh, we're trying to get uh, one sign up a day. Uh, so if you're looking for this, maybe consider that. If this is your first time watching an IO campaign, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash world of IO. Uh, by subscribing, uh, you can check out all of the D&D sessions we have, not only in Pipe Dreamers, but everything else in Phase three uh this saturday uh we will be uploading the first session of march on fey wonder uh which has been uh a, was which was a really great first session by the way uh highly recommend you check it out uh we've got uh uh mark holmes uh tom fox uh sci -Fry, kelly siren and cooley smiley so absolutely go ahead and check that out um great group of people we're already finished with the first session there's also some pretty good, awesome goblin references because I know a lot of you guys like the goblins. So, um, yeah, uh, go ahead and check it out. The it so the campaign starts in northern Ishtar. Uh, so go ahead and uh, yeah, give it a peek. That'll be some good stuff. Uh, and then yeah, follow me on Twitter. Here we go. HTTP www.twitter.com slash Brett Ultimus for streaming this god tier. Thank you so much. I'm glad you. Uh, I'm glad you enjoyed. Uh, for anyone that's brand new, I, I'm glad you guys have enjoyed it. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Twitter.com to spread ultimates, trying to get 20,000 followers, because I don't know. I like big number. I like when number go up. Uh, and you should too. Gosh darn it. And uh, yeah, that, I think, is the end of that. Uh, so, gang, uh, feel free to... What is Sam doing? Oh, he's doing lore. Uh, go to... I'm going to go ahead and raid Sam. Wait. Is Sam doing it? What is Sam doing? What is this? Chat, is Sam doing VTubing? Guys, head on over to Sam's channel, uh, Brett You Blinkies, uh, and make sure you guys do a congrats on the VTuber uh, premiere. Like, if you guys can make that your message that would be great he obviously has this cool little vtube model up there uh i know he really was looking into vtubing uh so make sure you guys head on over there and uh yeah congrats on his brand new vtube model uh, i think it's going to be a really positive step in his career and his direction so uh give him some love thank you so much and we'll see you guys the next time bye bye